Welcome to the club. My club are mental, aren't they? 21 is coming. You're chatting gas. <laughs> Embarrassing. Oh, f off, ref! Most toxic fan base in the world are Arsenal. Liverpool, the worst champions ever. <laughs> yes, people, what's, what's going on? Welcome to the club. Family in the club. Here we are. Bird, my my God, what you... This this should be good. This should be really good. God, look at that guy. I'm just watching Joby McEnough 
score at the with Dean. Look at the ground where Brighton used to play and think about who they are now. Did they Look used at a to sing, don't potty. you know Mac enough? It works, isn't it? I remember Everton. Everton had a great Everton. You know that year where it looked like they were going to go down, but they were in the cup final. Yeah. Oh, they were in the in the cup semi final. Their fans were giving it. Going down, are we fuck? <laughs> Stay up and win the cup. Yeah, Going I like down, that. Are... Yeah, it was, it was good. Like Any anything anything that involves sort of the terraces adopting songs that shouldn't necessarily belong on a terrace. I'm a big fan of. Yeah, like Lady Gaga, Alejandro. Lady one Gaga. Day, one day I'm going to make it. It will happen. One day. It will happen. One because day. I reckon that there's a generation of people that would know that song as as like fairly normal now. Mm. So How are you doing anyway? I'm good. How are you, lads? Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. You good? Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas, Booth. Yeah. You come sprinting in at the final furlough. Yeah, I thought, do you know what, lads? Uh, I'm not going to start the opening of the stream <laughs> with just two of you. Uh, I was smashing an Ando's, I can't lie. Yeah, smashing what, Nando's. What, what your Nando's order? Half chicken medium, four chicken thighs, bonus medium, fries, mashed, sweet potatoes, and a Coke. You've been over there for two minutes. You ate all that in two minutes? Yeah. Gannet, innit? Yeah. Gannet, innit? Look at him. Have you seen, order, but have you seen the Garm TikTok that's gone viral this week? He eats a plate of food and he doesn't swallow it. So he'll have a roast potato live on TikTok and he won't, he'll just swallow it whole. That's disgusting. He won't chew it, sorry. He'll just swallow it whole. That's disgusting. He's gone also, mega viral. Also, you'll die, right? Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. had to go to hospital. He had to go to hospital. I'm pretty sure I saw him in hospital, yeah. That's just ridiculous. So wait, wait. Yeah. But with a potato, right? Yeah. Your body could easily digest that, right? Yeah. And also... No, but you're a soft Yeah, you're still dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong, it's still dangerous. But a potato, you can see how your but he body... he does it for everything. But sausages everything. all sorts, yeah. yeah he right. swallows His sausage. thing is going on TikTok Live and he just eat and then he goes... He just, he just one chew. throat to sausage. Yeah. Like a... Um, yeah, literally. did that Like with a, a, like a spoon-billed platypus. Yeah. Like a, a spoon-billed platypus. That was cool. I, I love that. how he's got. He, he goes to a zoo every weekend or something. Yeah, of, course, yeah. of course he knows. Lapland and all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, mate. Uh, what are we doing this weekend? Should we go to another uh, zoo? Yeah, yeah. L London Zoo, which <laughs> day safari park? Is it good to London Zoo? I've never yeah, been yeah, actually. Yeah. It's a conservation zoo. Park so it's all right. Week. Did you? And, um, what Longley? Yeah, I took my little brother. Another one in Longley Centre Park. Isn't it? I've been there. It's depressing, you know. I feel sorry for you. You're basically in a traffic jam. What driving around? Watching maybe, an orangutan maybe, rip off your yeah. uh, window wipers. And a giraffe just be there depressed. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, your fumes are all intoxicating them. No, it is a bit sick. I, 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 don't mind, I don't mind when it's about conservation. I went to one in America where you kind of went over it in a, in a cable car. Yeah, I like that. It was like natural. It was like, I like proper that. conservation. But, um, but no, I do, I do enjoy that. But I'm, I'm still really perplexed about this weirdo who you're talking about who seems to swallow food. So his thing is being a platypus upon the TikTok. A platypus. People do anything to swallow. Yeah, but oh, you see, you see what's wrong with society. How can that be a thing? <laughs> like, also, it's going to wear thin really quickly, isn't it? He's got hundreds of thousands. Do you of know what happened? Yeah, but went... it's going to wear thin. Like, ultimately, he, he might turn that into being a media personality. But is that not like the equivalent of Arsenal fan TV? They're moaning every week. It's going to wear thin. No, but they don't. But actually, moan. I want to. I want to watch the guy swallow a jacket potato. <laughs> <laughs> no. Also, do I, you want to tune into these? Not going mad again. But that's that's his not. Name's yeah. His name's Bevo. No, but that's Bevo. not. That's not Arsenal. <laughs> fan. And Arsenal fan TV did their fair share of moaning when there was a lot to moan about. But they also provide their own share of, of, of analysis. Again. No, no, absolutely. But it isn't. They aren't a one-dimensional thing. <laughs> if your thing is literally, <laughs> I swallow. <laughs> Like it actually is as well. I'm not even. I'm people not, pay a lot of money for them. But too. TikTok's weird. It can't. He's be. He's got a bigger presence on TikTok than you. Then you know what happened? He went. Me. I'm not on TikTok. You are on TikTok. I have a TikTok yeah, that I don't so have TikTok. access to. Yeah, yeah. I'm upon TikTok. He's a bigger personality on social media than you are, and he just swallows food. Oh, I'm not a media personality. personality. Big, you are a media person. Using a very loose yeah. term there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Consult your OED for the word personality. You are a media he personality. Swallows, he swallows. Are you not on famousbirthdays.com? Yeah, but no one What's interacts that? with famous birthdays. It's a website where you type in if you're famous, they verify, and then they tweet you happy yeah. birthday. Everyone's on there. We're so I can type in Michael Jordan's uh, birthday. When is it? And it'd be famous birthdays, Michael Jordan, 15th but of August. Famous birthdays have a Twitter account that will tweet you. On your and birthday. And say, hey, happy birthday. And you're like, you don't retweet that because you don't want people to think that you think you're famous. Quite right? conceited. Yeah. yeah. So if you retweet it, you go. Mm. Are you on there? I'm, I'm definitely on there because I had to tell them to take some information off it once. So tell me. Because I found it, look, they had information about my family and stuff, like my the, siblings' names and that. And I was like, where the hell have you got all this information? Really? I'm deleting That's it. mad. Man. Yeah. It's a Imino. The. <laughs> What'd you say? The. Imino. I'm, I'm going back to the 
the, 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 the fellow, ultimately, it can only end in failure. No, yeah. Because you, you could have a, you could do yourself a major mischief. Yeah. Which people would watch, but out of like yeah. curiosity, morbid curiosity. TikTok's a mad place. Uh, have you heard of M.R., Adam? M.R. Yeah. It rings a bell for some reason. He's yeah. the white guy that sings in Jama- like Jamaican yeah, music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's got mega viral this week. His but song is he, everywhere. Hold on, hold on. What, like MC Grinder? Stop on the riddle. Is he not? He's proper, is he proper, not proper like white genuinely guy. Genuinely from Jamaica. He did a he did a thing on his TikTok. It went viral as well. It was like a DNA test. No, because I've and got, he's like one. He's not point one percent. He's not point one percent Jamaican or something. I've got family yeah, but, uh, from Barbados. Not point one. Yeah. So not even one percent. Yeah, yeah. So I like could that. be that. Yeah. Yeah, but I've got but family he, from Barbados, mega, right? Yeah. And so my cousins over there are married to white Bajans. and when we bring our family over here. Mm. And we have our white Bayesian brother with us, and he's walking around various areas, and he's speaking like with a thick Bayesian accent. People yeah. are looking at him like, "You're taking yeah. the piss out of me, bruv." Yeah, like are you taking the piss. I think he grew up in Barnet. Genuinely, I think his accent. Issue. I, think grew, I think he grew up in Barnet. Oh, so he's not real. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he grew up in in, in London. It's not like White Yardie, who's a genuine. No, no, no. That, not like he's, he's literally like. He, and there's a clip oh, of him putting it on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, then that's uh, weird. But he's, I think he's, he seems like a funny guy. You're just Barnet. a king when you roll through Barnet. That, Barnet's <laughs> got to be one of the most sort of like time it's privileged. I don't know. If, I'm not saying he's definitely not from a privileged background, but but yeah, it's very interesting. I think you find it very interesting. Maybe I'll get up at halftime. Show you what. Show you what. Went viral. You've yeah, been watching any more Hoyland videos? You want to see it now? Show me now. All right. Any Hoyland? <laughs> it isn't him. Did you know? Stop bringing him out. Yeah. It isn't him. Someone it... said, I thought Adam was Asian. People people talk to me. <laughs> people talk to me about that clip of Hoyland that isn't Hoyland quite a lot. Apparently his name's Bevo. Who did you? No, what what did you call him? I said Bevo. What did you call him first? No, I called him Bevo. Who is? Do you want to hear the clip? Shall I put it on the mic? Yeah, but I'll agree to see it. Okay, we're gonna. So, do... what am I watching here? This is a geezer swallowing a spud. This is his uh, rapping. No, no, no. This is uh, the rapping guy. <laughs> but this, hang on. Where's the guy? Him. Okay, but he's hardly in it. Oh, I'll show you. Sorry, guys. We just <laughs> what I used to do. Put it on mute, please. Put it on mute, please. You used to carry on with that. You can go through M. R. Is or whoever that is. But while we're here, guys, we are sponsored by Super Six. Thank you very much to the wonderful, wonderful people at Super Six for sponsoring the club this season. Listen, something special is going down this weekend. The 23rd of December is the deadline. You need to get your Super Six predictions in by then, because if you win Super Six this weekend. You could be a Christmas millionaire. Yes, Super Six have rolled over not once, not twice. But three times a lady. (laughs) Three times a lady. And it's now a million pounds that you could be winning for six score predictions. So that's not changed. Still six score predictions. Get those score predictions correctly and you could be a Super Six millionaire. One million pounds. Rory, what would you buy with one million pounds? Considering you're a man that's got everything. Uh, I wish that were true. I would buy. I don't know actually. I don't know if there's anything in particular. Shredded wheat. Shredded wheat. Um, never eat shredded wheat. You ever heard? Of I that? eat it every day. Um, Big fan. Yeah. Is yeah. that your cereal of Big choice? Big fan. Yeah, yeah. B- bit of granola on top. I thought you was a crunchy nut honey. No, no, too sweet for me. I like the shredded wheat. I have it at night though. I don't have it at breakfast. <laughs> I'm a porridge man at breakfast. It's fascinating insight. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> it is Crystal Palace Brighton. And we will be here for the whole thing. And we will not only be watching the game, you know, checking out the M23 derby, is it? Mm. Worst M- derby in English football, isn't it? Come on, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're covering derby. it here on the club. <laughs> it's the best derby in English football, <laughs> uh, I, I think. I, I, their fans, uh, whenever I chat to Brighton fans and Palace fans... Do you they know any such... Brighton fan? Yeah, Who? we work with one. Um, never that fella off, I've um, just about to say, I've literally Lab, never no, met Lab, Brighton. Lab Bible. Oh yeah, he is Brighton fan. He's literally <laughs> the only Brighton fan I've ever... Uh, I know I, a few I, Palace I'm fans. convinced, I'm convinced that every Brighton fan in that stadium that is a season ticket holder, in their, you know when they play at home, I'm convinced that they all support someone else, really. 
Yeah, I know because because completely. they didn't have any fans. Yeah, it's hard when you come up from a place like Brighton, so it's similar to Bristol. They'll be me. Arsenal fans. Yeah, they'll be they'll, they'll be they'll Arsenal, be Man United, fans, Man United fans. They and and yeah. then yeah. because Brighton have done well and they got new ground and they're in Europe, they will start going to Brighton. But they didn't have any fans when they were in the with Dean, and suddenly they got twenty five thousand yeah. fans. Who are these people? Yeah, that's, yeah, but they're young kids growing up to see the success. Who are as well. these people? The I say kids. the same about MK Dons. Chelsea played MK Dons in about twenty fifteen. I went there, and then some geezer was sort of really giving it the big and outside. I was like. Who do you support? You don't show like, mate, you're older than me, and I remember the formation of this club. So who did you used to support? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who did you who do you really support? Because you're not an MK Dons fan, are you? You're 46. And yeah. they're not. The so who did you who did you support? They became football fans because of Milton Keynes moving next to them. They're they? Because no real No, it's not a rugby is, era. Are there, Keynes. Was no, there ever a split of like real Wimbledon fans went to MK Dons? No, none. They all went none. to AFC Wimbledon. They started their own club. Yeah. Yeah, MK Dons. That's M- the real club. That's the real club. Is How Wimbledon. far is you know, Milton Wimbledon. Keynes from Wimbledon? Are you joking? Are you joking? It's, it's, mate, Milton Keynes is at the tip it's end of Buckinghamshire. London, the river. Milton Keynes at the tip end of Buckinghamshire. Wimbledon is South London. It could have been Wimbledon's further. actually London, isn't it? Uh, just about. SW19. SW19. Milton, Milton, Milton Keynes, London. Are you mad? It's closer to Watford. Birmingham than London. Yeah, it's halfway. No, isn't it? Watford is closer to the Birmingham. Center, Milton, Milton Keynes near Services, though. Yeah, it is. Way further. It's way beyond Milton Keynes is near Watford. It isn't. It's close. really, it's really, it's a really long way from Watford. Luton's further than Lon- uh, from London than Milton Keynes is. Yes, yeah, and and Milton Keynes is past Luton. Like Watford and Luton are the yeah, way beyond. Don't know about that. But it's like not none It's like not far from the Midlands. That's crazy. Yeah, on that crazy. bombshell. Um, if you're new, listen, we may have new people watching today. Why? Because Palace and Brighton fans. Probably aren't used to seeing their teams on watch alongs of like the club. Yeah. You know, pitch yeah. side, pitch side don't go, hey, let's do a Palace and Brighton game for yeah. the people. Because they're not for the people, right? No. Um, you know, all these other channels, they don't cover Crystal Palace versus Brighton. No, we do. We're the only we ones do. live today. We uh, us we do and five year plan yeah. are live today. That's us. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's us. We mate. love football and we love Brighton and Crystal Palace. The team news today for you guys at one and all. Uh Dean Henderson's in goal for Crystal Palace. Uh, then they got Klein. Klein still plays. Anderson, Gahey, Mitchell, Lerma, Richards, and Hughes with Elise, <laughs> Mateta, and AU up top. This is going to be a difficult one, lads. I've got a feeling that Rory didn't confront that Milton Keynes fan. Uh, that's just my feeling. Then we've got uh, Bruggen in net for <laughs> Brighton. Uh, Igor, Dunk, Van Heck, Hinshelwood. Igor. Balaba, <laughs> Balaba, Gilmore, Gross, Adingra, Matoma, and Jao Pedro. Who do you want to win? I am today. I am a Brighton fan. Who do you want to win? Palace. Yeah. You you see Palace. Yeah. I, I admire Brighton. I think that Brighton have done something in, very impressive, and I respect the job that they've done. But I mean, come on, it's Brighton. Like, what is the point? Can anyone explain the rivalry? It's got something to do with Alan Mullery and Terry Venables. I think Alan Mullery went there. And then quit to go. You to guess Palace. it. Guess what the rivalry is. You know, Alan Murray, yeah. Mullery. Alan Mullery and Terry Venables. Now you say what? Yeah, 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 it's, it's a great game. game. It's a great game. It's a Christmas game. Yeah, yeah, right. So we start the story. Alan Mullery, Terry Venables. I'm go. guessing he made a commitment to join Palace, and he ended up at Brighton. A bit like maybe when Ian Dowie left Palace and joined Charlton Athletic when he said he wasn't going to. He was going to go to Newcastle, for example. Great so, so that's yeah, but it's like it's one of them kind of solid. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I think it might be one of them. He, he promised a, Palace something, and then he get, he didn't. There's always commit. something. Very, there's always something very funny about those. You know, those like irrational hatreds. Like Queens Park Rangers fans, they really don't like uh, Clark Carlisle. Remember Clark Carlisle, yeah. who who played for them? Do you know why? Because he said that he wanted to leave, and he said he was homesick. I think he's from. I think he's from the north. He might be from Leeds, that area. He said he wanted to leave uh, because he was homesick. And QPR fans loved him. I think the partnership that he had at the back was his name, Danny Shitu. It was Danny Shitu. Good Santa. Do you remember Danny Shitu and and Clark Huge. Carlisle? Shitu and Carlisle were a good partnership. Carlisle wanted to leave to go north. He needed to get back up to the north. Went at Watford. <laughs> went at Watford. Yeah. The fans are like, hang on a minute, you said you were homesick. It's a little bit You've gone north. about eight miles. <laughs> yeah. You're eight yeah. miles north. You haven't even had to move house. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That is annoying. Clark Carlisle. Well, isn't it? Clark Carlisle and Danny Shitty. What happened to him? Start Clark Carlisle. Well, you know, you know what happened, right? Yeah. No, I don't know. Uh, anyway. Um, Why is the Seagulls Eagles thing? No, that's just two birds. No, that's what I've heard. No, it's that not. That's the actual it's story. obviously not. Well, can I at least, uh, it's obviously not. Can one's I allow a seagull the, uh, and the other one's an eagle. No, and but they that's have not bird what I said, Roy. Can I at least ask it's the audience? Because they're, they're watching us. They want to hear what we think maybe the rivalry yeah, based it on. It can't be birds. Starting off Crystal Palace, they say, right, 
what's a cool thing to call our club? We're in Croydon. There's not much cool stuff to be called after in Croydon, with all due respect. Let's call ourselves the Eagles. Do you know why they call cool themselves? Do you know why they're called the Eagles? Why? Because more people in Croydon are bald than anywhere else. In... <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a homage. <laughs> You're having a laugh. No, You're having a laugh. 100%. What are you on about? 100%. Croydon. Bold it's Eagles. Croydon. They're not named after Bold they Eagles. Are. Attilio Lombardo is a impossible, good example. Impossible. Do you remember Attilio Lombardo? That is rubbish, man. Attilio Lombardo, a bald eagle. He looked like an eagle. Yeah. yeah Croydon, please, Croydon please, is the bald do capital of the country. Do there are more bald heads in Croydon than anywhere else. So they country. use that random statistic and yeah. then called their club after that. Correct. Rubbish. That is true. I, that I is refuse. 100% I, true. I ref- it's one of them. I just I refuse. No, but it's true. Okay. I, I, I personally refuse. But so anyway, they call them themselves the the, the eagles because it's a cool bird. Maybe maybe about the fact that it's a massive bird of prey. Are eagles it's a cool even bird in the prey. UK? Uh, in that Scotland, probably one. Highlands, Highlands, and all that. Mm. And then and then what happened it's is like when you're not like how do, how like why do English people have the lion? There's no lions here. Bro. There no, they used to be in in in. in but you know, like when Bristol it, like, Zoo. national like your 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 hometown's bird is like a parrot, but it's not. Yeah, a but you need to you need to Norwich. if you're going to put a, a, an inspiring animal upon your heart. Yeah, lion. You, the the lion is good. You, what, what would you put yeah, there? Like a but, domestic squirrel. What is the relevance to England? Richard the Lionheart. So it's just a nickname, Lionheart. No, yeah. no, yeah. he had it, it, he had a heart of a lion. He had the lion's heart. He had the, he had the world's first heart transplant. Did he, yeah. But anyway, the, can I finish a story? Because you guys are blabbering on. I'm trying to give some information to the audience. Actually, give we're trying some to educate feedback. people yeah. at home. So Brighton come along and say, "What can we call ourselves?" Well, we're going to copy Crystal Palace, our, our nearest club. We're going to call ourselves the Seagulls as a bit of a laugh. And the and the, the Croyd Knights didn't like that. No, they hated that. So they they started throwing bottles at each other and fighting. What's he got to do but, with Terry Venables? Seagulls. It's not. He's made that up. <laughs> it's what, about, the it's about, I've just yeah. I've just completely yeah. invented Adam Mallory. <laughs> yeah. It's about eagles and seagulls. Uh, and eagles. Yeah. Eagles and Eagles and Eagles. No, eagles you're right. Eagles. Yeah. eagles and Eagles. So so but surely it makes sense for Brighton to be called seagulls. Yeah, exactly. Coastal exactly. town, that's, loads of that's seagulls. Where the friction yeah, lies. Surely that's if anybody friction. if anybody has the right to be angry, yeah. Brighton are yeah, exactly. legitimately seagulls. Yeah, exactly. They have no right so to the, be uh, eagles. That's the point. That's that is what started one of the fiercest civil disputes in this whole country. Because Palace started it as a bit of a laugh, and then Brighton realised, hang on, we're going to do it, but we actually do have an objective truth. We have actual seagulls Lick licking it. fish and chips from us. From on the pier. Yeah, we yeah. got attacked by them in Blackpool. On the pier. Yeah, yeah. No, you never ever. Blackpool, man. They're, they're, they're a very intense looking bird, a seagull. They're also huge. They're, they're the size of an eagle. They're wham as well. They walk around like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah they're yeah, going yeah, to yeah, do yeah. some harm to someone. Do, do you know, it? Uh, <laughs> I saw one. It was very sad. I saw one get run over. Oh. Mate, it was like a casualty. It was enormous. You know, it was like it's like. Do we need to call an ambulance yeah, for this? His thing? wingspan's huge. Huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very it's human ambulance got yeah. called. Like, what do we do? We got a super chat, and you know what that means, Rory? It means you've got to read it out. <laughs> yes, I'm not even joking. But I genuinely think the European Super League is a huge money laundering operation, Mate, and I want nothing on. to do with it. Says SK. What's he doing? We- this is like legitimate football conversation and insight. Yeah, you're ruining it. We're talking about seagulls. We're focusing on eagles. For some reason, we keep talking about Alan Mullery on this podcast, which has <laughs> never ridiculous. been done in a YouTube Absolutely podcast ridiculous. ever before. And yet, he wants to now debate something genuine and serious. Boovy, you're in favour of the Super League. What are your thoughts? I'm not in favour of the Super League. Um... <laughs> I love that. I love that. Do you know what? All right, do you know what? Yeah. Imagine a presenter on news night like that. Uh, you're in favour of racism to watch <laughs> <Northwood>. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what are you saying? <laughs> Do you know what really gets grinds my gears, yeah? You know, like, okay, you've got a flat, you've got a nice phone ad, yeah? And let's say Apple come along and say, oh, here's a beautiful phone. Do you want to swap to the iPhone, for example? Yeah, you, you might get swayed with the marketing, yeah? So we're Saturday's football fans. We don't want the Super League. At least make the marketing look, oh, maybe we should swap to the Super League. Did you watch the video for the Super League today? Mm. It was an absolute embarrassment. The top league of the Super League is called the Star League. Mm. The Star League. Do you know what? The bottom one is called the Blue League. It's like early learning centre. Can I, can I, yeah, yeah, absolute yeah, yeah. Embarrassment. Can I just contest it, though? The reason why that marketing... So the marketing that you're talking about is to you, because you, you try and get, offer Adam a new phone. The person that you're targeting is Adam, right? The person that is being targeted with the new league isn't the consumer. It's the owners of the clubs. You're not trying to woo... The fans. It's also you don't not, care about the it's fans. Not new. You're trying to woo. You're trying to woo Todd Bowley. You aren't trying to woo me. Also, you're not trying to woo me and you and Boovy. Yeah, but trying to woo impossible. But that no, you're trying sense. to woo new football fans. Yeah, 
yeah, but we were already, to... we already had. They know yeah. we're going to watch the European Super League, whether we protest about it in the run-up to it or not. They know we're going to watch our football teams, whether we're happy or not. They know we're going to do all these things, right? I don't. I'm down Hampton and Richmond every weekend if this were to happen. Yeah. I genuinely would. I agree. I tend to disagree. I, honestly. Because I think, and I, I say that as someone that's experienced the Glazers, right? I tend to disagree, like, because I think we love football so much and we love our club so much that ultimately we'd still be there. We'd mm. still be going back for more and we wouldn't be able to give it up. Mm. Maybe. I mean, I just saw Mullery. Did you yeah, see I that? Did that no. I just saw the word Mullery. Yeah. <laughs> There's Venables. Yeah. I was right. I was right. Alan Mullery and Terry Venables are on the telly. I yeah. knew I was and right. They're talking about seagulls and eagles. <laughs> Not there. That's, what he's, that's what he's on about. But no, we, look, I think, I think you're onto something, Adam. Football is changing, not for the better, whether we like it or not. Mm. And the fact that we are addicts, all complete addicts who don't really have a say in our conduct around the game and don't have a say in whether we subscribe to it or not, makes life very difficult. However, I would like to think, when it comes around, I might not be like this, but I would like to think that I would have enough principle to never support any team in a Super League, a Super League that would directly Just contribute to, to, the, to the... But it would, it would, what I respect about football, what I love about football, as well as my own team, is the history and, and whatever else. And the pyramid structure is so important to that. The league that you were potentially suggesting I would follow would directly, directly burn the pyramid and the history that I favour. What, what do you lads think of the... They did include a, a bit at the bottom of the argument sort of saying... There will be promotion and relegation from that. What do you make of it? What, Can I just know? ask, because I haven't been up to date with it. Yeah. I'll be honest. Is this to replace the Champions League or replace domestic league? It's not to replace anything, but it would ultimately. It, it, it's, it's been so ill thought out that it would be impossible to make it work. Like I looked at the practicalities of it and you just won't be able to marry up your domestic season with the new league. 14 games. It's 14 Seven games. And the Seven reason away. this kind of rearing its head again is because there's been a case in Europe. Yeah, which again it's... is so misguided, which shows you the problem. There seems to be this suggestion now, the people that are involved, that because the, the legal ruling suggests that it can happen now, you know it was ruled and it couldn't and now yeah, it can. Yeah. The reason that the Super League failed is nothing to do with law. The reason the Super League failed is because fans demanded that their clubs pulled out. They demanded yeah, that yeah. their fans respect the traditions of the pyramid system. So whether there's a... It didn't fail because the law suggested it but should my, fail. My, my issue with it, it, you're spot on, obviously, but th I think where they're getting at might be a long-term issue still for the Super League and, and its development because there are issues, it, appear, it appears legally, that UEFA cannot have a monopoly on the competitions that they run themselves. Mm. So that might be a long-term issue where the Super League comes back in different forms where UEFA oh, no, isn't able it to have will. a direct influence in terms of no, a no, vertical it will. And, and the fact that Manchester United have already pulled out is, is admirable, like really admirable, and they deserve nothing but praise for that. Incredible. Like, like it really is huge. But I do think that it is it is a complete mess because if you look at the way that they're saying that it should work, it won't work, like it will fail. If English clubs pull out, it definitely fails. Like, it won't happen. But, but you've said English clubs. You're Obviously, you're, you're spot on. But it's like, how can you have a system? You're trying to create this Super League. And it goes back to what I said about the, the advertising of it. How can you market something? You, it's your one opportunity now. After mm. the last couple of years, it, it was complete failure. You come back again, rear its ugly head. How can you be in a, a, a situation where you, you set up, you propose this brand new football world, the Super League, and as soon as Man United say anything that's against it, the whole thing falls apart because you can't have a Super League without Man United. You, you can't have a Super League. They're bigger you, than Barcelona. I, I, but, but you can have a Super League without Manchester United if Manchester United are the only club that aren't in it. What you can't have is you cannot have a Super League without English clubs. Like, there is no Super I, League I don't think you can have a Super League without Man United. No, I, I, I think, if it was City or Chelsea or, or did, Spurs, but no, no, United no, 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 are the cornerstone on, just, of this. Just for the record here, I don't want this to sound like, like I'm being tribal. I totally recognise Manchester United's place. I totally see Manchester United being arguably the best, uh, biggest club in the world. Mm. So I understand why you're saying that it can't happen without them. And I do agree with you to, to, to an extent. Mm. But if every other club goes in and Manchester United are the store, I think it happens and okay. potentially That's succeeds. That's if Manchester United are the, the lone outlier yeah. who, who adhere to principle, uh, the owners do the right thing, they stand strong against mm. this, they back UEFA and they stay away, I think the Super League works. However, if English clubs, all of them, pull out, it's over. 
So English clubs hold all the keys. I don't think you need all the English clubs. I think even just I think I, I obviously I respect what you're saying. I I think Man United alone brings the new competition into Man, such disrespect. Man United disrespect. alone doesn't end it's, they're, they're the, big, the conversation. This was a statement from Atletico English Madrid. Clubs by end the, way. the statement. Atletico Madrid. Um, I've said Germany, France, England, Italy, Spain, except for Madrid, Real Madrid, and Barcelona, oppose the Super League. We advocate prefer preserving domestic leagues and securing qualification for European competitions through on-field performance each season. And a few clubs have come out with similar statements. Yes. There are certain clubs that have pulled out that I think if you are if you are that guy, what's his surname again? It's one syllable. I think it's a German surname. Oh, what's his name? Oh, um, man. right. Uh, Bernd Reich. Bernd, right. yeah. Him. If you're him, Manchester United pulling out on their own is is not ideal. Atletico Madrid's public statement is not ideal. What, Juventus what, have bailed. What ends it? Juve. Juve have bailed. There's a lot it's of Barcelona Madrid that, yeah. doing all of this. That's the point. Have you PSG been you, it's it? just Barcelona no, PSG, and Real Madrid. PSG were never in though because they're so in. Like PSG, they're never in. PSG, Tottenham have officially rejected it. <laughs> I mean, them being in is a joke. Yeah, they should How do they try and ring, them fe- ring fence themselves <laughs> into some sort of elite co- co- conversation? Clubs won two league cups since 1991 and they put themselves <laughs> in. It's re- absolutely ridiculous. They've got a big ground. They've got a big ground. Let's get Bari in. Bari. But if, if the chief executive of Bari is currently watching this, Bari are in Serie B, but they have a really big stadium from the 1990 World Cup. And I think the Champions League final in 1991, the year Partizan Belgrade won it, whenever that was. Bari, you're as welcome as Tottenham into the Super League. That's what I believe. Chelsea um, have rejected it officially. Officially come out. They've said our position does not change. We firmly believe that by working with the Premier League, FA, other European clubs, through our strong relationship with the ECA, UEFA and FIFA, mm. we can together continue to develop the European game for the benefit of everyone. There's also been a lot of spinning headlines um, out there about what the latest judgment means. The latest judgment doesn't mean what UEFA did is illegal. It means they just have to change their law um, to make it legal, right. <laughs> basically. So it's not like the, it's the, not the European big. Super League is imminent and it's on the way, it's coming. It just means UEFA have to have... But they've used it, it as an opportunity coming. to start advertising for a Super League and it's failed instantly. It's an absolute disgrace. I don't think... It's an absolute disgrace. The, the problem is... I, I Look, I don't, I don't know this, but I think that the people, the masterminds behind this, presumably would have anticipated this sort of initial wave of hysteria and sentiment. Do you not think that they'll be ready for this and there'll be a PR offensive and they'll go again and... I've got a terrible feeling. Like I remember two years ago when we were initially having these conversations, there were people rejoicing, particularly on the Fulham Road. I was there. That this had been, you know, we'd save football and champagne spraying and all that. And you just kind of go, hang on a minute, I'm sceptical here. Is this not going to manifest itself again and come back in a different guise? This is it. And I, I've got a terrible feeling. I don't want to sound defeatist here. But do you not think that in a decade, this has happened in some way? Yeah, but I think, that, not to say you're being naive, because of course you're not, but I think... If no, you look I'm, at, I'm often naive. No, but, no, but you know, I'm, if, you'd ask, if you'd ask your great-granddad in 1905, would the structure of football be the same, where there'd be no money, it'd be all pure and all that? If you look at anything in a hundred-year time no, but that's scale, a, but there may, will be fundamental change to football. Ask, no, but but if you were to ask your great-grandfather, the, the, pyra- the, the pyramid football, uh, the pyramid system that your grandfather or great-grandfather even would have s- supported... Is still identical to today. Should it be identical for as long as we're alive? Yes. Yeah. Of course. What what the observation I was trying to connect was actually if you look at the Premier League now, the top ten of the Premier League, almost every owner of that top ten, super mega rich, mm. super big clubs, and Chelsea are at the foot of that. So that's it's huge. Mm. The, the clubs that have come up are some of the worst sides to ever get promoted out, out of the second division. Mm-hmm. And Burnley were incredible last season, as an example. So they can't even compete. So what I'm trying to say is across a ten year, twenty year uh, stretch of time. We, we might already be experiencing a division where it's impossible to compete anyway. But, no, but you can't, but use the words, you can't use the words impossible because impossible, the, the word that you're using is, is incorrect because it is possible because Brighton are currently playing in a Premier League game. Yeah, yeah, of and, course. And Brighton have proved Luton. it. Sorry. Luton. Have, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L- Luton, Michael Carrick's learning his trade. Yeah, 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 the pyramid yeah. is what it's all about. Yeah. The problem, the problem is, and, and this is that guy again whose name is so annoying that I can't remember it, Burned. Whatever it is, yeah. he's he's effectively said that there is something unfair, and he and he uses the word unfair, which is so wrong. He says, let's use Manchester United as the example. He says that it's unfair that 
Manchester United, he didn't say them explicitly, but I will. It's unfair that Manchester United don't get to compete in the Champions League every year because of their success in the Champions League over the years. And by saying that it's unfair that they don't, mm. you're effectively saying that it's unfair that maybe Aston Villa this season do. Yeah. So it's unfair that Aston Villa, who were recently in the Championship, get to play in the Champions League when Manchester United may finish fifth and not get to play in it when yeah, you think of the grim. history of the club. It's grim. That is the exact opposite. That's not unfair, is it? No, that's, of course, of that's course. That's actually fair. Isn't that exactly what fair means? Villa finished fourth, Man United finished fifth. Villa get to play in the Champions League, Man United don't. Isn't that fair? Yeah. And yet he's saying it's unfair. Mm-hmm. And I've the owners, worked. owners would look at it that way though, of those big clubs. You know, if you're an owner that's put however mm-hmm. many billions into like a club. Todd Bowley would think he's unfair, Chelsea yeah, on it. We're not in the Champions League this time, why? Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. you remember that famous quote from him, which I believe to be true when he had a conversation about how he was going to pay for a particular transfer and he said with the Champions League money. Yeah. Have you, have you, have you read this? <laughs> I heard that. And he, and he went, and the fellow that he was talking to went, but we're not going to be in the Champions League. And, and Bowley's response was, but Chelsea are in the Champions League every year. And, and the geezer was like, yeah, because they finish in... <laughs> and Bowley was like, I've got to make a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to make a quick call, man. <laughs> but w- the argument's interesting, man. Y- your, your argument about the idea of the football pyramid... Right, since whenever the football English football league started is is spot on. You know, I believe that. Do you not think then, in a, in a long term horizon, that there will be changes where that that will be the change? No, I don't. Is the, is the best we can hope for is is what I'm trying to say. Whatever format English football takes, whether it's with European mm. clubs, without European clubs, a mixture of both. Is there any world where the football pyramid doesn't exist in ten years? Th- is there a world where that could happen? Yeah. Could it happen? Yes. Should it happen? Unequivocally, no. Yeah. But yeah, there is a. Do you still I, think, despite what happened today, that the clubs pulling out? When I think about the owners of of these clubs, even the ones that have already pulled out and said no, I don't think many owners don't want this. No. And ultimately, sadly, I don't believe ownership is the word is accurate. I think owners aren't owners. That's just a collision. That's not. That's not. It's filled. sore it's, though. Sore. It's very sore, but it's not. Very aggressive. Brighton play lovely oh, stuff, fuck mate. Me. Bloody hell. That was amazing from Brighton. Brighton, they're oh. just playing it out from the Come back. Come on. That no, really is nice. One time football, one they're, time one They're beautiful. Football. Look at that. Look at Across this. Across the face of the box. Across the face <laughs> of the box. <laughs> so you got, who is it pressing yet? AU. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we should say something about the um, how the government handled it in 2021. Whatever you want to say about. Boris Johnson and all that he came out in a very very strong fashion where I actually think the fact Man United came out within an hour essentially and sort of said we are not doing this I think is a result of strong action from the government who are obviously looking to build an independent uh, adjudicator for things like this I think there is some credit given to how we've handled it within this country I think Mm, it goes whether you lean left or right the Premier League is one of the country's biggest products Mm. and if they would see the European Super League and look, you, you can say a lot about the Tories or whatever, but they're about money. Do you know what I mean? And you, the Premier they would League have made a lot, a lot of money. money. For, uh, mate, the Premier League no, does, but, but so would he. The Premier League, when you look at the amount of tourism it brings, it like if you mm. now go European Super League, only four of your teams are in it, and do, they're do playing not, most of their games abroad. You're like Switzerland. No, but do you do you not think that the motivation of a Super League is is money? Deals and stuff. It is capitalism. Not, yeah, but I think Adam's but it, saying the motivation of the tour, to- right? Yeah. England. Yeah, we can our country. English, England's wealth as a country, or the UK or Britain or whatever, mm. their wealth stronger with a stronger Premier League, right? If if the European Super League comes in, those individual clubs are richer that are in it. But the re- who about, about the rest of them? If the what European the Super the League was better, a net better result for the for the for the Tories, for whoever's in charge, but at the moment it's the Tories. If it was net better for the European Super League for our country, we'd be doing a European mm. Super League in this country. I I I don't think so. I think that. Surely, surely people within within every institution, whether it's governmental or whether it's wherever you work, the pyramid the pyramid isn't about are you left wing or right wing or do <coughs> do you vote Corbyn or do you vote Johnson? It isn't that. the The Super League, the concept of the Super League was wrong. The pyramid system and no, the concept yeah, of I the pyramid you, I system. I think I was just saying no, economic it's argument. Right. But what I'm saying I'd is, agree. I don't think I don't think the motivation of of any government would be built upon anything other than doing the right thing 
in this case because I think oh, there's more money from a Super League. Disagree. I disagree. There's, there's, there's not more there's money. More money for you think there's more money for the club? UK in the Super the Super League format, which involves four Spanish sides, four Italian sides, yeah. guaranteed. Because there's more Premier money League, the, the, because the, the Premier League, as you know, it carries on. Yeah, but there's more money in there's more money currently for in the English football pyramid in its current format and the Champions League, UEFA Conference League, whatever, than there is for just the Super League by itself. There's One more money. Side. That's why we carry on with that. We got we got a super chat. Got to read it. I don't I don't know if that's true. It's abstract. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know why. It... Finished work today, couple of red wines deep, and it has just occurred to me that I would like to know Rory's opinion on his favourite Christmas film. Do not answer that. I see him as a na National Lampoon's Christmas vacation guy. Says Thomas Watson. Thomas Watson, I know it's a super chat, and we've got to read it out, and we have read it out. But I feel like we're doing the Christmas podcast, yeah. and that's out on Christmas Day. So it's in the I don't Christmas think we should allow yeah. Rory to answer that question. No. It's not I'll give you one clue. Yeah. If you DM Rory, he'll answer you. I'll in give DM. you one clue. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Elf. And it's not National Lampoon. Oh, look Christmas out. Christmas it's not National look Lampoon. Look Lampoon. You see that? Oh, Elf Lise. is so good though, Rory. Hmm? I'm surprised you don't Lads, know please. Elise is past then. Are you looking mm. at Elise, lads, fuck, you know. It's so good in his Go on, so, say what you see. No, Elise's just turned some Brighton midfielder inside and out. Who's the Brighton midfielder? I don't know. He's flipped him inside and out. Uh, and uh, Elise is class. He was, he was class against Man City, by the way. He scored a big penalty for, for Palace as well. Stopped the rot in that regard because they were they were shocking before they came to Man City. Mate, they're still shocking. They're Three like, point Etihad. I don't call think they. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think they've won at home. Palace. For, you know, we're rubbish, even. aren't we? You are. But right. we've got the Club World Cup coming up. So uh, in Saudi, you won a game in that, didn't you? The other yeah. The Raul Red Diamond. Amazing man. Yeah, top top. No, but you want to win competition. That. Yeah, you want to win that. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really big you, to win that. You yeah. bit not asked by it. No, I love it, mate. It's top, no, no, top, top quality. Genuine. No, I, 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 there's something about it for me. I'll watch it. Obviously, I've watched the other game and I watch City wherever they play. But there's something about it. I don't, I don't quite. I like. buzzed off it, you know. Yeah, it's fair but enough. Maybe when's the final? Uh, maybe Friday. As as Tomorrow. Other Who are you playing? Class, man. Oh, for God's sake! It's um, Fluminense. Oh, is it? You gone Brazil? I think so, yeah. It's Marcelo's side, I think. Ooh. I think. I might we be got, wrong. Sorry if I got that wrong. that were in this? No, we got done. We, no, they're in it we, next year, holding. guaranteed. Oh, so the, when the uh, changes... It's them, us, and Liverpool, I think, guaranteed. Yeah, Have spot. you heard about, talking about changes to structures and stuff, did you hear that the, the Champions League are potentially going back on yeah. their idea to yeah. change the structure of the Champions League? Good. That new structure looks rubbish. I know. I, also, I like the group Eastern games. Western Conference type style in um, Do you know what? Do you ever think, right... Just leave, just just leave it alone. Just leave everything alone. Just leave me alone, but also leave everything alone. Yeah. Everything is good. Jobs to everything do is they, good. They you don't need. Busy. It's like when we were talking about sex earlier. You don't need to do additional things. You don't need show? to change. Was that it? was also on the Christmas <laughs> that podcast. That's so weird. Just that. <laughs> was that not on this show? <laughs> no, that was on a different show. <laughs> was that definitely not on this show? When we Elise talking? is in a ball across. Oh, there's a poor cross that. Yeah, so, sometimes right foot, you think just leave it alone. Like we just talk, leave it. We, alone. We, what Rory's referring to is uh, certain things that you do during sex. But we talk about it in the Christmas podcast. No, but sex and football are very similar in this. <laughs> Football's great. The pyramid system is great. The Champions League is great. Everything works. Yeah. Leave it alone. It yeah. doesn't need these spicy little things like you suggested. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't need these little football things. and sex you very need, similar. You don't need to what get. Suge Wait, you suggested to mad get... stuff. For what? You football? No, no. You didn't suggest it for football. You suggested it for sex. <laughs> That was weird, by the way, what you brought up, Ad. Adam yeah. brought up. Yeah. <laughs> you sound very no, you don't need... Honestly, you guys <laughs> sometimes, are strange, Sometimes it's just good as it is. Just leave it alone and... Absolutely. Don't the way that... You, you know don't need I, to improve you know it. what I said on the, on the podcast? I if said, it ain't... The, the, it, do you know what it is? All this stuff... If it always, broke, you, know, you, you keep bringing it up as if it's an anti-argument. Actually, you keep bringing it up. You, you didn't have to bring up what you're bringing up right now, which we know what you're bringing up. I, I won't say it on the stream you've got sponsors, but you'll bring it up. No, I didn't you, bring it up. You I, did. You, I didn't. you just said it. No, what, it's one of the things you've got. Don't ever do that again. Then bring it up. Yeah, right. exactly. what and saying, you keep bringing no, it up. I didn't bring it up, did you I? Did. You, I didn't say did what it up. was. I didn't say a word. Well, what is it then? All, all I said was... Yeah. All I said was... <laughs> all I, all I, <laughs> all I said was... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So football ain't broke, don't fix it. Sex ain't broke, don't fix it. Everything is fine. This sounds so weird if you haven't seen the Christmas podcast. Which yeah, go check it out. Some Monday super chat. Gotta read it. Do you not appreciate the Premier League, Champions League? Everything exceeded a pre-existing system. How do you see the future of football? Wait. Do you not appreciate that the Premier League, Champions League, and everything exceeded a pre-existing system? 
And how do you see the future of football? I, I, I'm preview. This one's for you. I don't, I don't understand the question. <laughs> I don't know the if I'm drunk. Future of football. Um, I'll ask a question though, based on what you. Thank kind you of for your saying. super chat, but you're yeah, far too you, intelligent mate. for us. Um, I like. I'm I w- I'm against the Super League, but let's play devil's. Not like him. Not like him. Who let's loves play it. devil's advocate. Here. Sorry for not going going up and down uh, King's Road or whatever it was, punching Peter Check in the yeah. head. <laughs> That's why he wears that helmet. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't doing that, that mate. <laughs> Sorry, Rose. <laughs> oh, giving it, giving it a big one. And get what were you doing on Instagram stories? Make sure you get an Instagram story. Super League I'm, ne- I'm stood next to Peter Check. Can I get a selfie, Peter? Can I get a selfie, <laughs> Peter? Peter, <laughs> Peter <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Peter. I'm Chelsea Roy here, the fourth biggest Chelsea fan on YouTube. I don't like the Super League. We be on my channel. Collab. Collab. I'll give you a shout out. <laughs> Please. <laughs> but I love you, Peter. I love you, Peter. <laughs> I love you, that Peter. Was, that was good. You big goth. <laughs> <laughs> He's a massive goth, isn't he? Drinks Red Bull and plays... Um, Hockey player. He, Hockey. And is in... Hey, isn't he mental? Yeah. He didn't like playing football because he used to wear a helmet all the time. Now he's going into ice hockey where they fling that puck at your head. Yeah, yeah, but he wears an actual that helmet. That's a dangerous there, sport. But that's even w- I don't think a helmet's saving you. That sport's nasty. I don't know. Do you used to play the game on PlayStation and that? No. I used to love it. What, NHL? Fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super chat. He used to fight. <laughs> As an American fan, <laughs> it's a double edge, double edged edge sword. <laughs> you know, spelling today. Come yeah, on. Yeah, come on, mate. You, you, you know, illiterate. Yeah, I want to see a competitive match here, but I love Arsenal to the bone and would hate the change. So what does he want? He's an Arsenal fan. match. Is this is what this playing? game here. Arsenal playing. Don't don't the Champions League make you not want a European Super League? Hey, what's it? Come again with that super chat. We need it up on the screen send, again. Send it again. But oh, well. <laughs> as an American <laughs> fan, <laughs> it's a double edge or edges sword. Let's just say double edged sword. Double edged sword. I want to see a competitive match here. But I love Arsenal to the bone and would hate the change. He wants to okay. see a competitive match here. All right. So he wants Palace. He loves Arsenal. He wants Arsenal to be in a competitive league, i.e. natural football how it is at the moment. He doesn't feel the Super League no, 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 is competitive but he said, for Arsenal. He said he wants to see that, but he would hate the change. That means he wants to see the Super League, but he would hate the change. Oh, he's not talking, When he says here, he doesn't mean Palace Brighton. Oh. Yeah, he means here. Why yeah. can't people just type normal? For God's sake. Where's he, where he from America? Where's he from America? I mean, they speak our language. In America. In Whoa. We should do a, uh, we should do a US politics uh, election should we go, should we go live Should we go live for the election? Because that is going to be nasty. That is going to be... When evil. Western democracy falls. Wait, who do you think wins? I reckon I hope Vivek. No, he won't even get elected. Vivek. But he won't be elected. Who do you reckon? He won't even be a re- nominee. All right, then. All right, then. All right, then. It's Trump, it's Trump Biden. I hope Trump comes back. It won't be Trump Biden. You just say that. America deserve all the. F- that's no, you don't. You, you, do, you can't mean that. Yeah, I do. You'd rather America be stable, surely. Nah. Your interests, Biden, your interests are deeply aligned with that. Is Biden yeah. stable? He's le- he's he's. he's Biden's more a wolf in sheep's clothing. No, no, I know. At least I know where I stand with Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very it's like, difficult. It's like it's like, nah, it's like in Britain. Yes, yeah, the right. less worse Them option. Them like, will tell me the truth to my face. Meanwhile, yeah. this guy's pretending he likes me, but yeah. I know he don't, and he's just them anyway. So yeah, you got to take the marginal gains out. I know what you're like. You, 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 you want you want full on rev- revolution and all that. It's like yeah, the, I want I'll just full take on the, revolution. The, I'll take the less bad option. Why don't us three here start a revolution? Yeah, yeah we should do it. Hey, we'll start with the Super League, the Rory Jennings party. We'll start well, with the Super League. We'll, we'll know, put him in the European know. Parliament, like Farage. Do is you know like when Boris used football to kind of. Gain some positive publicity, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, we can do that. So we sneak in with, right, we're here to save football. Yeah. And then we turn it into our party. Oh! Brighton are in. Brighton are in. Tell me that. Oh, oh, great save by the keeper. Get your shots. Brighton are in. Oh, shot! Oh! What a ping! What a ping! Wowzers. What a ping! was that? That was um, incredible. Good shot, that, from Belaba. <laughs> oh, let's see what's yeah, happening no. here. Dean Anderson in goal. <laughs> Good shot, good save. Puts it out, right? Oh, Belaber. Oh, went for throw him. <laughs> no, no, it's close. What's his name? Belaber. Or Belaber. I don't know how to say it properly, but I know he's a good, good sign. I'm saying the right name. <laughs> it's a Dingra, sorry. No, it's not. <laughs> it wasn't enough. a Dingra. It wasn't a Dingra who took that shot. I want a match in the US, but would hate to see the league played anywhere else besides the UK. Preseason matches are great. But don't mean anything. That's what he meant. <laughs> what? Is he sent money again to type that in? 
Yeah. Fair play to him. Round of applause to this guy. Yeah, thank well you. Well played. RT. Next time, use Grammarly. Uh, use autocorrect. It'll save you half the, half the pound. Half the quid. Why do you keep shitting on people? That I said I'm not shitting on no one. <laughs> Next time you use Grammarly, how ungrateful can yeah, you get? I if, I, if I misspelled a Christmas card, would you say that to me on there? Probably Christmas. I never get a Christmas card so from you, Royce. If, no, I, just, if no, I were no. to send you a Christmas no. card and I were to write no, it, no, no, no. L A W. Do you know what I get instead? Oh. I, I do live streams with you. You talk about you talk about sex toys and all that. Instead of a Christmas card from you, lads, you end what? up talking about what? sex toys on the what? Christmas podcast. What? That's what, what you both do. All the time. What? what? Who spoke about sex? Why all don't you just? Time. Why don't you just have a mint tea, sit down, relax, and write me a Christmas card? You don't have to go on about do all you these weird things. L A U or L A W? L A W the right way. L A U is the correct. No, it's not. But I know someone else on YouTube is L A U. Yeah. Here we go again. Yeah. There you go. That's what I'm saying. So, user two finished? So, you spell <laughs> it wrong. Huh? DH Lawrence, LAU. No, it's not. It's not. DH Lawrence, LAU. No, it's not. Lawrence Fox, LAU. It's not. Lawrence you Fishburne, T Lawrence. Lawrence Fishburne, LAU. No, no. It's Lawrence. Simple. Lawrence of uh, Arabia. Of Arabia, Tom LAU. Lawrence. No, they're all Lawrence W's, man. They're all W's, okay? Jamie Lawrence, who played for Bradford. Lawrence Llewellyn Bowie. Liam Lawrence. Lawrence Llewellyn Bowie. Liam Stokes. Lawrence. You know, he broke, he broke his ankle going down the stairs. Jamie one. Lawrence went to prison, didn't he? Do you remember Jamie Lawrence? Jamie Lawrence. Bradford. He had, he had like red hair, but not in a ginger way, in a dyed way. <laughs> not in a ginger uh, way. In a red way. Thought not in a ginger way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can have red hair. If I say, not in a ginger way. If I, if I were yeah. to say to somebody, little redhead, you'd think it was ginger, wouldn't you? Yeah, you wouldn't think it was dyed oh, red. He had it dyed red. That is... Jürgen van Dijk. <laughs> is that? Who does he support? Is that? Is that... <laughs> Is that, you reckon, mix, is, that you, one, is that a real person? Who do you reckon he supports? Because he's not spouted like Klopp. So maybe it's his he's, real name. He's intended to spell it like Klopp. You're saying we've got another illiterate? <laughs> <laughs> Stop ripping people. He's a super chat. Oh, no, thank you very much. We Thoughts love you. Wait, you're in the phone. Phone. He's, he's on the Bumbles. There's free K on he's the, on the, he's free on the K. Bumbles. Give it, he hasn't even given our own stream a like. Free K on the... Guys, if you're watching the stream, like the stream. Make sure you he subscribe. Like, he watches watches your stream. And download he Super 6. It. Download yeah. Super 6. Really watch him. Go, go on your video. See if he's disliked no. your video. Yeah, I bet he does. Does a down like do anything? Yeah, it's no, bad. If you get the loads, you'll get, yeah, yeah, yeah. You is it? Down -like. What, down -like is bad. But, yeah, no. I'll wake up at 9am and do that before but I, then they I have go to, to the toilet. If they give you a down like, it means that they have to have watched, which, which is good. No, they don't have to. No, if, you if can't you, give a down like without watching. Some people can pause YouTube, on the advert. Three seconds of you, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, you can pause on the advert. You know, yeah. He doesn't even give us a like. I mean, I've disliked some people's videos before. Have you? I didn't even know it was an option. Show me the thumb. I do a lot. I dislike a lot. I'm of just video. showing. Uh, I'm showing Rory the uh, YouTube channel that I'm going to upload. I'm uploading. It's, upload. it's, it's, it's just us three, yeah. not not, not, not three thousand. Yeah, there is. I just showed you it. There's no down there. There's only Fucking an. Up. Oh, you need spec savers there. Downward I'm thumb. To it. God, I didn't see that. It doesn't say how many. Though. It doesn't say how many. Got another yeah, super. Yeah. If you had to support a European club outside of the Europe, the English Premier League, who would it be? Says Jake. Sampdoria. I would support Milan. Sampdoria. I'd have Rude Hullet in the ERG kit. I love Real Madrid. But he feels a bit. Uh, yeah, no, wrong. You can't I support hunt. Dinamo can't Kiev. Um, obviously, you, you guys don't care about that situation, but that's a, that's a different matter. <laughs> Mate, you don't tell me that I don't care about. I've been to Dynamo <laughs> Kiev. I've seen Chelsea play in Dynamo Kiev. How'd you get on? We drew 0 0. I've, and in, earlier in the day, do you know what I did? It was, it was really good, actually. Went to Kiev, and I remember when I was a kid, like Sergei Rebrov and Andrei Shevchenko playing up front for. At least they were playing up front for Dynamo <laughs> Kiev against Arsenal in that ground. I remember the ground was like low and no cover. I was like, I really want to go there. Chelsea's youth team were playing there that day, like Charlie Colkit. I think Mason Mount played. So earlier in the day, I went to the youth game, and then that night went to the mm. to the home game. It, it, there was trouble. Was there? Yeah. Rough. I like Luzny and them man. Really rough. It was great. Great city though. Like really interesting. Ukrainian footballers. We should do that. This would be a great game. Shall I start? I like Luzny. Okay, you started. Hang on. I don't. This is okay. Andrei Shevchenko. Veronin. Zinchenko. Rebrov. Oh, fucking hell, man. That was awful. I'm glad that's done because I was done. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I got one. Mikalenko. That's a great shout, yeah. Mikalenko. That is a good shout. Igor uh, Stepanovs. Oh, Igor Stepanov, no, centre half for Arsenal. Your turn. <sighs> God, you've lost twice. Yeah, you, your game, this, by your the way. Game. This yeah, is a great game. I, do you know when what? you suggest something, you should have at I least th three th options. Four I thought, options. Yeah, I did. You took Okay, ready? French footballers. This should oh, go now. This should go. Cissé. Deschamps. Henri. Me. 
<laughs> no, no, you're such a liar. Oh, you're you're such way. a liar. Thierry Henry. Oh, oh, Jake, oh, come oh, to me all the time. To you, to me, you to me, you to me, you to me, you to me. I said Henry. He's like, you move on then. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah distribution, distribution. Find me in the middle, lads. Find me in the middle. Yeah. Fuck you know, you guys are slow today. Like, you did, get you, switched you on, lads. Think, get yeah, switched on, guys. You couldn't think of a fourth French footballer. We played said Thierry Henry. Yeah, you said Thierry Henry after stalling. We were playing this game in Cyprus, yeah. And to mess me up. Like, we were playing it and they did a Man United one and my head just went blank. Yeah, no, it can. It's about four names. Yeah. Yeah. And the pressure yeah. can blank. get you. The pressure yeah. can get you. Yeah. It's Mate, hard. you knew four French footballers. <laughs> <laughs> no, he meant you won. You, yeah, I know. He, he heard four and he was like, oh. <laughs> it's amazing when your mind goes blank like that. Though, but let's play the game, but you've got to go left field, as less field as you possibly can. Oh, but so if you go Cantona, it's like, all right. You, yeah, no. you, yeah, that's a good game. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, uh, do Gary. Yeah, Dougary is good. Okay, you get a little bit more time to think. Yeah, though, yeah. Right. So you get like 10 Whose go is it? My go. Yours. Obviously Debushi. yours. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like really left field. How left field is William Gallas? Mm, that's okay. That's acceptable. Okay. Lloyd Kremi. It's good. <sighs> is it? Lloyd Remy's good. Toulon. Oh. It's even better. Jean-Pierre Papin. Oh. <laughs> William Prunier. Oh, it's good. Sami Nasri. I don't know. No, it's Come too, on. I think it's a bit, it? it's a bit it, high is profile. It heavy? It's a bit high yeah. profile. Is that yeah, a tap-in? Yeah, yeah. Drip Doctors and that. It's a, bit, it's a bit that. high profile. Sami Nasri. Do you remember that? Drip Doctors? Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. That is a little bit high profile. Uh, you lost again, boo. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you've arbitrarily said Nasri is, is you play famous. You've a bad Z game and watch yeah. his balls crumble. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll smash that, mate. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easy. So what should we do? Let's, do, let, let's do Let's do English man world cha- uh, snooker players, famous snooker players. Oh, no. Nah. I don't think we know enough. I don't think this is good for the audience. <laughs> Um, no. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Thomas Watson says, guys, notice what? none of you said Mudrick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's not a footballer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's rubbish, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. He's a rubbish. He scored the other night. You no, know one of them that papers over the crack? At some point, like he look, he's he's obviously also, been a Trippier's given everyone a goal. Trippier, either. man. Since I said he was good. I saw a great oh! tweet about Trippier. It was like Trippier's a, a he's turned into a vibe merchant. He's a passion merchant. You know when you know when a player mm. gets a little bit too shouty? Different uh, position. Joe Hart was a little bit like that. Mm. The back of the end of his career, he's a little bit too he becomes a cheerleader. Shouty and he, Aaron Ramsdale, focus. Right? cheerleader. Yeah. I think it show that that kind of thing shows more when players are fatigued. Out, out I think he's yeah. very fatigued. Yeah, I know they've got no squad, have they? Like they've just got no fit players. Like I hate to bring who Arsenal? Who's the Arsenal? No, Newcastle. Newcastle. I hate oh, to yeah, bring, like, common sense to it, but I think he is done. He also who? like Trippier. Before he got to Newcastle, he, didn't he win the league with Atlanta? Yeah, 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 yeah. He would have had that season with them. No, but it can just World be a little Cup, bit of a. Heroes. It can just be, I think he's in a bad just form. a little bit. Uh, yeah, just a, just a bad run. Just it's a not bad like that. It's not a combination of un- being unable to be rested. Doesn't add, you know no. that adds all to it, right? You give him, you give him, you know, a, a week or so off. He regains his form. He gets some, you know, better players alongside him because the injuries change things a bit. And I think all of a sudden he's fine. That's lovely play from Elise. Elise just oh. megged up Matoma there. That's disgusting, <laughs> man. <laughs> disgusting. I'm, I'm, do you know what? I'm glad that happened to Matoma, yeah, because I think he's come in. Everyone loves him, puts him in their fantasy. He's a little bit too tryhard for me, Matoma. That, that's real football. <laughs> that's real football. That was real football from Elise. So because people say, why don't you like Matoma? I like Matoma. No, he I, goes, I, Matoma's a tryhard. No, but no. But, <laughs> look, is Matoma a fantastic player? Yeah. Is he a likable character? Yeah, I agree. I think he is. But there's something no. that he's... No, I do. But it does not like it. Uh, excuse me, I do. And <laughs> But there's something about Matoma where I just think he, he would have been a teacher's pet at school. That's the energy I'm just talking about. He's a little bit of a teacher's pet. Why? Because of his... Um, didn't he do like a... I think he deserved his teacher's that? pet. That's all I'm yeah, saying. He, no, he did, he did his dissertation, didn't he, on dribbling. Is that true or is that a myth? Oh, no, I think it's not true. Dribbling. It was like I, football management, wasn't it? No, it was dribbling. Dribbling. I think dribbling, it was specifically yeah. the, uh, the art of running with the football. I think that's literally... I it. should do a dissertation in that, shouldn't I? You can't run you with the football. Run. You can't I run. Can. Mate, you run a marathon <laughs> in eight hours. Did you have is a ball you go, I should do a dissertation on marathon running? I did. Is that why it took eight hours? a bit of information. I never told you about it. I never told you. I thought you did it in a full kit. I thought you knew that. Paul Dickov on the back. Yeah. And all sorts. Um, Matoma, for me, writing a dissertation about dribbling, fair enough. I mean, I should write one about uh, my presenting skills, entertainment skills, <laughs> my passing out from the back ability, uh, shooting, shoot, shooting, my TikToking ability is fantastic. Second to none. Okay, let's put that to the test. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right, yeah. TikTok no, no. now. Go over there for two minutes and come back with a TikTok that gets at least 100k views on the clubs. Or film it there. No, I don't, no, no, let's I'm, watch the magic I don't, I don't, I, I don't, Are you paying me to do that? 
Yeah, well, you're being paid to be here. Pay, yeah. Yeah, you're being paid handsomely. To do this, yeah. You're a very wealthy man. No, I'm not. You are, I live hand to mouth. Mate, you're made of money. No, I'm not. You're made of money. We, I'm we, not. we know how much you get paid. Why? Because we get paid. <laughs> <laughs> I might be on a different rate to you lot. How do you know? Oh, shit. There might be a premium out here. Yeah. Again, I yeah. think it might be. He's got a fob as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah he has got a fob. We don't have a fob. Yeah. Um... Let's see you. So pretend that there was a tip. God, that's small. While you while use like yeah, look how small that. that is. It says that super chat says if Girona win La Liga, how much of a cloud does that put over Real Madrid's season? And should they be called out for being overly reliant on Bellingham at the expense of their squad? No, but it might not put a cloud on it if they win the Champions League. Like if but if 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 Real Madrid turn up at Wembley and win the European Cup, I don't think it will matter whether Girona win the league or not. It's slightly embarrassing that they're calling for a Super League and they're not even top of their own division. No, but they're still, they're still. That could be said about most teams calling for a Super League, right? Yeah, but there is yeah, but something embarrassing. But they there's are. Embarrassing. There's something embarrassing. You know about what I mean? Like, like most of the Super Teams. Mm. Super yeah, yeah. Teams Obviously, think, you know, things change. By the end of the season, will they so, be so top? Probably is it, not. Is it not, now not Jerome. only Barcelona, Real Madrid? Yeah. Because you said Juve yeah. pulled out. Ale- I thought, I thought e- Juve so were even like Ale- Atletico Madrid pulled out. So no, like, Atletico uh, made The biggest club in Spain isn't the big two. Have pulled out. So. They got no support within their own league. So, if, so for example, let's say the Super League happened. No, but Man United were in it. Real Madrid care about the support from their own league. No, they want Premier but League. They, they want, want Premier the League money from Premier. League. Yeah, yeah. Same with the yeah. Italian big boys. Yeah, yeah. They're, but the Italian big boys have pulled out. They're joke clubs. Yeah, Juve pulled out. Inter it, pulled out. Juve definitely pulled Juve out. Juve pulled out about six months ago. Uh, no, you know but they, they did. They did. Trust me. You know me, the trust Italian me. teams probably go though as well. Like if the Premier League kind of want to decapitate themselves here, and kill their league, which is what they would do. We could go back to being the big boys again because if we can keep all of our teams. Yeah, but right? if the Super League were to happen, say, let's just those teams are always going to be big, right? But let's Juve. just say, say say it were to happen. The no, because being big now is it's it's defined in a different way, isn't it? It's not being big in terms of your own support or your own history. Like Ajax are a big club, but they're not. Brighton just beat them in the European second European competition. Do you know it's ridiculous? It's it's the worst thing that's ever happened in football. I remember looking at my phone. And Brighton had beaten Ajax away. Mm. It's like what? Of course, that's terrible. For Very everyone. bad Ajax though at the moment. Yeah, but that shouldn't. Yeah, be. It should never happen. It should, they should. Brighton should never play Ajax unless it's pre-season yeah. friendly. No, but th- that's where your argument goes back on itself. They deserve the right to be playing Ajax. No, you know it. No, but, but it shows you. It shows you football. the state of European football, and it shows you the money in the Premier League that right, Brighton right, right. have been able to compete with. Brighton should never be able to compete with Ajax. Because the only reason they can I is don't money. Get, I don't get what you're trying to say because ultimately they haven't outspent... Have they outspent Ajax in the last five years? Brighton? Yeah. I think every, well, every, it's not about whether they've outspent them. Every Premier League club has an abundance of riches true, that, that's don't, that, can't, that Ajax that's can't true. compete with. But the issue, the, your issue would be that if it's Villa, you're, fair, you're, you're spot on. They got relegated a few years ago, etc. Brighton, uh, it's just an anomaly in this argument where Brighton literally haven't spent yeah. much money. At Brighton time. might be the anomaly in the argument because just they haven't spent the money. But, like, they have you know, got, but they have got Premier League money. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. just 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 by but they put it into their training ground. Just and by being in the Premier League, they they are in yeah. a situation that Ajax can't compete. With, yeah, that's that's spot on. Which is unjust. Yeah, and and like we we saw it last summer, didn't we? Uh, no, it was last winter. PSV would PSV were doing very well, and they had Cody Gakpo up front, didn't they? Yeah, and Noni Madueke. Yeah, and like that, gone. Premier League clubs just went hold up. We'll have him and him. Yeah. And then it was Van Nistelrooy, I think. He was just like, hang on, my team's gone. Yeah. Like, I was yeah. going to win the league and now I'm not going to finish in the Europeans. But like, it's over. Yeah. That is what I'm saying about Brighton. Like, Brighton don't represent that, but they represent the Premier League team that yeah, benefits yeah, yeah, yeah. from that. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So, so, yeah, sadly, I don't think AC Milan, as much as we will always see them as being big clubs, in terms of like eyeballs that they, that they guarantee... It's just not there. Like I saw something crazy. Listen to listen to this. You know, in terms of like big teams, Marseille, obviously, ba- massive club, right? With a, with a rich history and former European champions. You know, League One, when they do the when they go to tender, do you want to buy the rights and and all of the all of the obvious? League One mm. is now not for sale because it could not be sold. They are now offering it to various providers for free. Would you like to show League One? Because <laughs> I'm serious. No, man. I've heard this. I'm, I'm serious. Funny. I've heard this. L- League 1. They is, wanted 300 million, didn't they? And they, they literally cannot that. sell it. Yeah. Like, no, every, everybody has got no thank you. We don't want to bid for this. We don't want to bid. So it's not like they're going, okay, we give you half. We'll offer you 150. Everyone has gone, there's no room in our schedule for this. There's nothing in it for us. So clubs like Paris Saint-Germain, Marseille, Lyon, uh, Saint-Étienne, massive clubs, have all gone, 
we can't even give our rights away. Yeah. So being so a lucky. big club in the in in the modern Saint Etienne are a far bigger club than Brighton. Of course they are. But they're not, are they? No. AC Milan are a far bigger club than Newcastle. But they're not, are they? No. Because AC Milan have just lost one of their best just players. Just a question. Yeah, yeah. Where do you think the fault lies for that? Like this, the, the, the huge discrepancy between the Premier League and other considerable big leagues. Like the, the Serie A is massive. When we, when I was growing up, and Rory was growing up, Serie A was the league. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know what I mean. The Premier League, the Premier League marketed itself really well. It's the marketing. I was going to say that. So that's why I was and about to say. Do you think it's because and the language, the Premier yeah. League, are just so good at what they do? The Premier League or done, the other, like, the Premier League have done very well. In t- in what, terms of this conversation, you wonder if we've got of lucky of with David Beckham in the nineties and Cantona coming into the nineties internet generation. Ronaldo played at the peak internet era. When you're getting clips of Rooney, for example, it just the right players at the right time. I think I think language helps. I also <sighs> think I also think the history Palace of the, in the box club, here. Police I think, say. I think the history of the clubs in this country, like Manchester United, the history and story of Manchester United is always going to be a tale worth telling. The, the history of Liverpool will always be a tale worth telling. Then the story of the newer clubs in terms of like European success. The story of Chelsea is fascinating. The story of Man City is fascinating. Arsenal will always be noteworthy. And I think language helps. I think the fact that most people, uh, who, well, America speaks English. They may therefore align with a European, oh, sorry, with an English league. But I don't know where it went so wrong that that Brighton, okay, I won't use Brighton because they do it in a different way. It shouldn't be, every, we should never have a situation where Nottingham Forest, who were just recently promoted, are outspending Bayern Munich in the transfer market. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and that happened. Yeah, and all the Spanish clubs that, that transfer as well. Well, the Spanish, the Sp- like... But it all of them combined was Do you watch, since since Ronaldo and Messi no longer, be totally honest, since Ronaldo and Messi b- both weren't in, in uh, La Liga, have you watched the El Clasico? <laughs> yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. Have you watched the El Clasico? You're right until Bellingham. So you have watched one since? Yeah, since... since Have you watched an El Clasico since Messi versus Ronaldo? Not live. No. I've 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 gone back and seen seen highlights and stuff like that. Yeah, Yeah, not live. Yeah. Same here. And I think that... But then then I'm I'm very much like that with a lot of football. I just want... I am as well, but... I think that that might not be a fair test as well. I think it's because United are crap though as well. You know when when United are crap, I don't watch much of the day. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to watch football anymore. Reminds me of how poor we. I don't. I think I watched every Messi Ronaldo. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, but in that that aspect, yeah, we. I think I watched. I think I literally watched everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, a lot of the time, I'd be going to the pub. For, I'd be having a thing for it. Yeah. I'd be making an event out of it. You see, see Gil and Balaga in the yeah, studio man. and all I'd that. I'd be making with an Vista event. Liga. I'd be, oh, what I'd be show. making an event out of it. What a sh- Who was the host of that? Do you remember? But don't Scott Minto. Minto did Portugal. No, he didn't. He did with Vista de la Liga, la Liga yeah, with, with Gil and Balaga and uh, uh, the old guy. Oh, I forgot his name. The English oh, question guy for you. Mm. Would you ever name your kid after a footballer? I name my son after my favourite players, Jack Wilshire and Armory. Jack and Henry. No, Jack Henry. Is that... Um, you call him Armory or Henry? Missus, yeah. And his missus doesn't know. Uh, it's a clever one. Could I have a kid called Frank? Yeah, I like the name Frank. Could Frank's squeeze it in as a middle name. Maybe. I'm now. not sure if you're getting that. Frank's in. a good name. Frank's old It feels now. like you get a pet yeah, but name old as Frank good. a bit more. Mate, my kid's called Clementine. Yeah, but that yeah, but that but that still feels that translate modern. that translates. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it's old. Frank though. is old, old. F- Frank, I know, I know. If, I've got two mates at Chelsea who have kids who are about ten called Frank. <laughs> Genuine. I love that. Yeah. Any Johns? I haven't got any John. No Joe. John feels old though, doesn't it? John and Frank are very similar, I'd say. Nah, I think Frank's got like a Frank, Frank. could still get used Frank as a Frankie could... in it. Yeah, there's lots of. I think there's a lot yeah, more Frankie, Franks would have been. If you born. get called now, if you get called John nowadays, bearing in mind I've got an uncle John and a cousin John. Because your granddad was called. Because your dad's called John. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's only because yeah. Like my uncle John's son is named. Did John. you see? Literally nobody was born in the UK called either Gary or Nigel last year. Yeah, I know Gary's dying. Yeah, Gary is Nigel. dying. Nigel. Nigel. Not one kid in England. Me, yeah. Yeah, but when you think about how many Nigels there were yeah, in the generation them, above. Like, Winterburn, Flowers, Kennedy, no Martin. Kennedy. Flowers was Tim. Nigel Kennedy. Uh, Pearson. The the violinist. Yeah. Nigel, um, Nigel Martin. Nigel Pearson. Crap. Nigel Martin. Nigel, Nigel Kennedy. Nigel Clough. Ooh. Nigel Farage. Nigel Farage. Yeah. Nigel. Brenda. Name's down bad. Nigel. Nigel. Spackman. That might be the worst name. Do you know there's a Nigella you know, Lawson? <laughs> <laughs> do you know do you know Palace there's a, do you know there's a box at Chelsea oh, called the Spackman rubbish. box? 
After Nigel. After who? Nigel. <laughs> who? Who are you on about? Mate, what words am I saying here? Nigel, Nigel. who? Nigel who? Spackman. <laughs> you who's that? Of course. Oh, right. Nigel Spackman. Who's that? What do you mean, who's never that? never heard of that. Who's who do you that? think he played for? Nigel Spackman. What, what stadiums are you talking about? What, Chelsea? <laughs> Mate. <laughs> what are you on about? What are you on about? I've never heard of this geezer. How you're saying there's a pub that? named after him. <laughs> you are, you're going on about this, this guy. You're going on about this guy from 1962 or whenever you watched him play at Stamford Bridge. <laughs> Mate, how can you... Wait, 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 what? I love it Tell that you me. think there's a pub called the Nigel Spackman. The Spackman Arms. <laughs> he thinks there's a pub called the Nigel. <laughs> the Nigel. <laughs> Nigel Spackman. Oh, oh! Can you not understand? What anything? are you on about? Why do you watch the game? <laughs> What's yeah, the learn game? a thing or two about some proper footballers. <laughs> footballers. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. Oh. There's going to be a lot of kids in North London called Thierry, aren't there? Like, are you doing boxing? Are you yeah, I'm are you getting ready? I'm practicing. For getting, you're getting weighed in, aren't you? Someone said Nigel Mansell. Nigel Mansell. Nigel Manson. Nigel Mansell. Do you know who Nigel Mansell is? Or the Nigel driver. De <laughs> Nigel de Jong, your icon. Nigel. We should have done a game of famous Nigels. Let's yeah. make this just a quiz game. Oh, someone went, my, I'm 19 and my name's Frank and my dad's name's John. <laughs> <laughs> They're lying, man. man. They're lying. How... Do you know Gullible got removed out of the Gullible got removed out of the dictionary? You have, to, you have to get me up very early. Yeah, no. uh, I think you've missed the boat. Yeah, about um, 15 years ago. That do was. tell me this. <laughs> Let's name Real Coca. Nigel Real Nigel. Coca. I fucking had that in the bag as well. Do, do, you, do you remember? Oh, do, you, do you know what West Ham? Oh, I, I was you, going there. I was mate, going did there. you ever go to West Ham when he was playing for them? And they used to do that. It was quite a good chant. They used to actually do it like round the chicken area of uh, the old ground. They used to give it that. Du, du, du. It's Nigel Real Coca. And they used to like do it. Do like a conga. It's quite good. Good player. The, the Have terrible you ever been player. That game when a just weirdly stopped, yeah, just we, I went to I went to England, three mate. Against Stoke we against were, England. <laughs> I went to England. I went to England uh, against Costa Rica <laughs> in Brazil. Right, we went to Belo Horizonte, England versus Costa Rica. We were already out of the World Cup. Oh. We were out. New low for English football. We didn't even have to bother playing our third game. We did a conga just for no reason. Just yeah. because we. Well, were Ricky out. Lambert's playing around. It's Nigel Rio Coca. We had a chant as well. We won't Nigel. win the league. We won't win the cup. We're Man United. Yeah. <laughs> People just did a Yeah, just doing a conga. <laughs> so what's going on, man? Nigel Havers. Nigel. Nigel. Mm, Nigel. Nigel. Okay. I'm done with Nigels. Yeah. That name. name, that name, that name Swedish footballers. That name is, no. name is Swedish footballers. Packed. Eliasson. Olaf Henrik Malberg. Larsson. Olaf Melberg. Zlatan. Stefan Schwartz. Boljan Jordic. What do you say? Boljan Jordic. No, don't lie. No, I'm, don't I'm, lie. Larson. Se don't lie. Seb Larson. Thomas Brolin. He's a clever one. You yeah, know. you can't <laughs> say that again. You <laughs> can't say that again. He starts arguing, yeah. yeah, and then he slips on him. Yeah. He's very, Go. very clever, that. Um, Victor Lindelof. <laughs> oh. You always lose, don't you? Uh... Oh, the keeper. <laughs> oh. The keeper. You actually always lose. Oh. It's oh. over. I was, you know did you, I was ready. You I was ready. Watch that dead country. Did it even qualify for? <laughs> I was ready. Were you ready? Sorensen or something got wrong. Yeah. No, he's yeah. Danish, mate. That's obvious. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, it's obvious. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, there's a bridge between those two countries. I'm not ready. I would have been ready. I would have been ready with oh, Freddie Lundberg. Freddie Lundberg. Uh, oh, I've got another one. I've got another one. Swedish. Martin Darling. My brain's gone dead. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Game, uh, Martin Darling. The light. Are you not thinking of the Villa goalkeeper Enkelman? No, I was thinking someone played for City as a Swedish keeper. Let, let me know in the comments uh, down below. Man City keeper is Swedish. Who else is a Swede? He played for Juve as well, I think. Uh, Can someone let me know in the comments? This Please show up the comments. This is a great game. Way. More Swedish footballers. Come on, let's name more Swedish footballers. Like, there's been Sweden have been good and qualified for a lot of tournaments and we're sitting here. No, we've got quite a lot. We've got quite a lot. Hey, we've got about eight between us. Who was well, I think I got eight myself. Swedish keeper for Man City. Who was it? I can't see. Who, who, who's that? Name a Swedish Man City player ever. Jesper Blankvist is a Jesper great Jesper Blankvist. Player. Alexander Isaac. How could we forget him? Swedish fucking... Oh. You've had a mare, Boovy. There's a keeper for, from Sweden. A disappointed you, Swede. There's a keeper from Sweden. Kim Who is Karlström? it? What about a boy at Tottenham? Kulusevski. Yeah, but... Uh, no, I'm talking about Man City. Tyler said your upper lip. What are you on about? Because that has already been said, Jack. So how about you shut up, yeah? Is that Jack Ginger? No, no, no. He's on holiday. He might still watch. No. Almanda. 
Oh, oh, Amanda. Amanda. Remember that Gold turn? Oh, Amanda, oh, yeah. Wolves. Oh, Amanda. Against Wolves or Hull? Name remember. players who play for Bolton, Wolves. like Almanda, but not him. Go. Kevin Davies. Anthony Alanga. Oh, what was this? Bolton players. I've just said it. Who did Kevin, you say? Kevin Davies. Kevin Jorkayev. Ivan Campo. Jasker Leinen. Piero. Kevin Nolan. O'Brien. JJ Kotcha. <laughs> Thanks, that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, Matty Taylor. Nicholas and Elka. I was about to yeah. the celebration, I think. Um, did we say Armanda? Yeah. We said it at the start. Uh, Bolton Wanderers, Bolton Wanderers, Bolton. Oh, wanky wanky. Kevin Davis. I've already said it. Kevin Nolan. Been said. Said. We did not said Davis I and said, Nolan. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 said, I, said, I, said, I said Nolan. Davis and Nolan, you went. Is yeah. that night? Great shout, that is, man. That is a ridiculous shout. Alan Stubbs. Emil Heskey. Don't even don't Hang debate on. it. Don't debate it. If you debate it, I'm walking off the stream. Debate it. So he walked off. Hang on a minute. <laughs> oh, so goal for it's Palace. Goal. Say what you see. They deserve <laughs> Say what you see. They, they deserve it. Jordan, Break it if, down for us. Break if it Jordan down. are you scoring against you, you're struggling, aren't you? Break it down for us. Um, ball uh it's not great, is it? <laughs> Uh, receding hairline vibes over there. Uh, Jordan, are you header at the back post? I've never seen a man so upset to score. Frustrated because he's probably scores one every 30 appearances. <laughs> yeah, he's bad. He's him. rubbish, isn't he? You know what I remember? Look, watching... look, they've played themselves totally into oh. trouble here. Eh? The keeper's rubbish. He's no steal. Look at that. Oh, Elise cuts it out. Is back to Elise. Smart play from Elise. Great ball by Elise. Great from Hughes as well. On a plate, on a plate. If he miss, well, he can miss that. I've seen him miss I don't that. even think he can miss that though. He's put on such a plate by Elise. No, he's missed, he's missed them, mate. I mate, he's like yards that. out in front yeah, of the goal. Mate, with he, no he, misses the, he misses bad ones, man. Just before half time as mate, well. Mate, look at him. Yeah, Come he on. Miss, he miss it, mate. Mate, you make contact, you score. Like I'm, Timo Werner. I swear we saw Darren Nunes miss one. Didn't Nunes miss one last week? That's true. Nunes hits that for a corner. So I won the Bolton game. No, you didn't. Why didn't I win it? We'll keep going then. Oh, right, are we still going? Yeah. Uh, so is Adam out? Yeah. Three, two. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. You, you've, you've, obviously three been, seconds. you've obviously been sitting. Okay, you start. I've not though. been thinking about anything. Wait, if, it's, if he missed it, it's your turn, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, go. Is it my go? Yeah. I, I, oh, I oh, yeah. You just kicked me out. Yeah. For not I, reason. Ida Good Johnson. It's already been said. No, it isn't. Ida Good Johnson. Huh? I said Ida. Ida was one, Ida of, was one of the said. first ones out the yeah. door. J. Lloyd Samuel. Oh. That is. That is a good shout. That is very good. That's very good, boo. Miksu Patalainen. Oh. 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 Oh, where did Miksu Patalainen come that's from? Phoenix Knights. Oh, Miksu. The There's been a fire in Gary the Gary Cahill. Oh. <laughs> this is You're great. struggling this is a great here. Game You're over. struggling here. Wait, think. <laughs> think. <laughs> Come on, let's just do this. Don't all of us like if even if Boovie wins, this is such a good game. We've got to get between us. We have to get three more. Okay. Yeah, I've got to, I've got a few more. Have you go? Yeah. Go on. Then. Daniel Sturridge. Shit. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be too clever. I'm going. I've got another one. Mixu Patalainen and not Daniel Sturridge. Uh, Jack Wilshire. Yeah, he did go to Bolton. One line. So did Heskey go to Bolton? I can't remember. At the end of his career, came back from Australia, I think, uh, in the championship. Ned Neil Lennon. Weird TikToks in it. No, 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 I knew that. Oh, I, I, I knew, I knew this. It's half time. It's half time. What's the game? Keep going, keep going. Who's the guy? Who's the Jamaican international? Uh, is that night? No. No, uh, yeah. right back. Oh, I should know that. I forgot his name. Uh, he was a fan favorite at Bolton. Played keep for ten years. Keep thinking of a guy oh. called John McGinn, who isn't John McGinn. Yeah. John. Oh, blonde hair. Oh, this is painful. No. Oh, who's that Jamaican? Let us know in the comments. Oh. Yeah. Who? Did, what, what position? Right, back. right back. Jamaica International, Bolton, Sam Allardyce. Ricardo something? Ricardo? Ricardo Fuller. No, no, he was at Stoke. Yes. He was at no. Stoke. Yeah, something like Ricardo. Yeah, I know who you mean. I know who you mean. Yeah, yeah. Don't put the chat up. Don't put the chat Ricardo Don't Gardner. Put chat. Don't put the chat up. <laughs> Ricardo Gardner. <laughs> yeah, Ricardo Gardner. I got it. Half, half the name right. I've seen some players there as well that I shouldn't have. Who else? Uh, Hajj Duf, we never said. Oh, yeah, he Duf. was good for them. Did he, he went to Liverpool first. That right? Bolton Wanderers side was a very good side. Oh, Jasper yeah. at the back. Who are the centre halves? I mean, hey, they had Ricardo Campo, the, the, Hero. Campo in midfield. Matt Nolan Taylor. Yeah, they had who was who was the central midfield? Uh, Nolan. Who was the central midfield? Nolan. Kevin Nolan. Nolan and score loads of goals. Campo. Yuri no, yeah. that not prime Sal Allardyce. Yeah, he, he'd left by then. Who, no, Allardyce was Jokaev. When he took them to UEFA Cup, he wasn't part of that side. Who Jokaev? Yeah. 
He got them. He was, when mate. he got them into the UEFA Cup and they're playing in the UEFA Cup against Atletico Madrid, I'm pretty sure he's not playing for Bolton. Not sure. I'm I'm I, sure. I wouldn't know the specifics, but I think Djokovic was definitely like instrumental in the Allardyce mm. team. JJ would have been floating in and around. Uh, yeah, I thought yeah. you guys already said JJ. Quattro, Who yeah. played up front with Kevin Davis? Uh, it wasn't Elmander by then. Elmander no, replaced Elmander's him. very late yeah. at the end. Who was up front with Davis? It's Gary Megson when he replaced Sam Allardyce. Mm. Um, Gary Megson, what a name. Gary Megson. He was West, West Brom's, Brom's manager. West Brom, yeah. He got him up. Yeah, Ginger. Ginger! <laughs> 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 Um, this is such a good game. Not the Palace game. These games that we're three. Palace Are people game, watching? Can you open that? Yeah, There's yeah. a lot of people watching, man. People are tuned in. I get yeah. scared when we do these crazy things because Jack... Set us, if you guys want us to do a word association go. game... Put with a super football chat players, in and tell us what the team country. you want us to do. Or word association right now. And make sure you like the stream if you haven't already. And make sure you subscribe. And make sure you download Super 6. They're back in the channel this season. Uh, John McGinley. That's who I was thinking of. Yeah. McGinley. John McGinley. Stuart Holden. Stuart Holden. Yeah. Yeah. Dean James. Holdsworth. Do you remember Dean Holdsworth up front for James. Fuck. Gary Dean Speed. Holdsworth. Gary Speed. Yeah, he was in the middle for them when they were... How did I not see D Dean Gary Holdsworth? Speed. Dean Holdsworth. And do you remember his, do you remember his bird? What? Lindsay Dawn McKenzie. Do you remember Lindsay the... Dawn McKenzie? Do you remember Lindsay Who Dawn Who was McKenzie? the bald Greek fella? Stelios Yanakopoulos. <laughs> yeah. Stelios Yanakopoulos. <laughs> I remember him. Stelios. Yanakopoulos. <laughs> uh, David Weeter. That was the one. Marcus David Alonso. Marcus Alonso. Oh, yeah, because that's where he's in trouble there, isn't it? Who? Nathan Blake. Do yeah, Gary never played for him? No, he's at Birmingham, isn't he? He's at Birmingham City. Wow. Stelly How Mixu Patalainen and Stelios Yanakopoulos. We've got, 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 we got an offer from Mike. We've got an offer from Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got a new one if you want to do it. Go on. Stoke City. What, just players from we Mike. played for? Ryan yeah. Shawcross. Me or you? Uh, okay, we can go to me. Uh, we will go with Charlie Adam. Fuller. I've gone blank on Stoke already. Ooh. Um, I said Shawcross. Big podcast. Ben Foster, thanks. No, he never played for played Stoke. Played for Stoke, yes, he did. Ben Foster? He went Stoke, yep. I promise you played for Stoke. I you want to bet? I I'll put money on it right know. now. I don't know. I trust you. I trust you. I, trust you. Play I, trust you. Stoke. I, trust I will I trust. go with Rory Delap. Liam Lawrence. I'm bad with Stoke. Uh, uh, Mammy Birum Duth. Great shot. Uh, yeah. We'll go with Arnautovic. Oh, Bojan. That's such a good shout. Bojan's such a good shout. Crazy. They're more Champions League winners with than, Stoke. than had a mare. the whole league. I'm thinking of the striker. You've had a mare with um, Stoke. Big podcast. Stop saying big podcast. <laughs> I'm giving you a clue. You're still rubbish at it. But I said Ben Foster. And you said no. No, when I said big, big podcast. Peter Crouch. Thanks. <laughs> but I want I want uh, advice from the next. If it's a hard yeah. one, I want advice from you, okay? Uh, I will go... Glenn Whelan. Oh, that's a great shout. He looks like someone from Lord of the Rings as well, doesn't he? Glenn Whelan. Michael Owen. Oh. Stoke? Yeah, yeah he yeah. played for Stoke. Retired at Stoke. Um, I'm bad at Stoke. Jermaine Pennant. <coughs> Jermaine Pennant. Someone needs to keep talking. Did, 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 <laughs> yeah, no, did, I was trying to do that. Did Glenn Johnson go to Stoke? Yeah, he did, yeah. yeah few. Glenn Johnson, um, I'm going with uh, Sorensen. I was thinking that earlier, but yeah, was it Stoke or yeah, Sunderland? No, definitely. Or both? When Pew's gotten promoted. Was it both? No, he's Villa, Stoke. Because Sorensen was at I don't think he's at Sunderland. I might be wrong. Uh, who else? Oh, oh wait, it's not my turn. I've got, one. I've got another one. Have you got one in the have bag? You? Who have you got? Uh, can I say it? Is it yeah, my yeah. turn? No, it's your, not, no, no, you, it's not your no, turn. It's your turn. Whisper, whisper. No, I've just said it's it. My turn. It's, it's Adam's turn. No, absolutely not. No, no, no. I say this very I'm bad seriously. For Stoke. Yeah. Okay. I'm bad for Stoke right now. Right, give so me, give me five more seconds. You got one? I'm done. Yeah. Uh, Hesse. Hesse. Who? Hesse. Yeah, yeah. Hesse. Okay. Robert Huth. Robert Hoof's correct. Wow. It's a great show. Wowzers. See, I know all these players. Oh, the king of Stoke. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. When he kept going to be big podcast, I was going... Hello. No, I didn't know what he's on about. <laughs> I think I, I, um, I wouldn't have gone with either. Jack Butlin. Oh. No, have you got another one? Damn it. Uh, who else has played for Stoke? We need Grafter here when we play these games. Yeah, they're Just such, screaming such at everyone. Fun, such fun game. So good, screaming at everyone, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... 
That's a good save by Henderson there. Oh, I know the boy. Uh, John Walters. Dean Whitehead. He's very similar to the other fellow, the Glenn yeah, Whelan. Glenn Whelan. Both look the same. I think you've lost for us. Uh, let's yeah, move on. Let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, Do you want to see a gross shot? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Pascal Gross hit a shot. And it that was is good. what everyone subscribed for. On home. about 40 minutes. Is this the kind of game that Brighton should be winning, though? Mate, Brighton get beat every week. They can't, you know, they yeah. haven't conceded, they haven't had a clean sheet all season. It's their club record for the amount of the lack of clean sheets they've had in their history ever. Must be 22 now, 23 uh, games without a clean sheet. 23 games without a clean sheet. All comp. That's no, uh, or is it just the Prem? I think it's all comps, which is uh, a club record for whatever division they're in. So, do you know what? This looked like, you know, the, the classic kind of. One side is a ball playing side, the other is defensive and rugged defensively. This is the most classic example of that because Palace have just hit them on the break, but shown quality. I almost would rather be Palace in this situation. They've limited Brighton to no chances. Brighton have played out from the back. You know, I'd rather be I'd rather be Crystal Palace set up strong. You know, Brighton. If it goes wrong, it goes really wrong for Brighton. Um, and the keeper. I don't. Do you know what's happened to Steel? Anyone in the comments, let us know what's happened to Steel, because I think that that keeper is absolutely shocking. Um, and they got another centre back, uh, the the big the big lad. I uh, forgot his name, sorry. But they've got a few injuries. Brighton, they're running very very thin as a squad. So I, I'm not I'm not so sure about Brighton. There's a rumour that Rory's on the roids in the comments. On the roids? Yeah, saying Rory's looking big today. Yeah, that's just crazy. Yeah. What have you put in Rory's coffee? Madness. Yeah. Um, did DJ Campbell play for Stoke? Uh, he might have. Did he, he didn't. Might he? have. He played for Blackpool. I'm still trying to think of names. Um, Jamie said you're wrong. He said they have clean sheets in Europe. Yeah, so it must be in the in the if it's in the Premier League, that's almost worse. Yeah, that's almost worse. Mm. Twenty one games in the Premier League. Wow, that's relegation stuff. Obviously, they score enough goals to get out of situations, but what happens if you know the Fergusons of the world get injured? Matomas, you can't be conceding that many goals. Uh, Dunk still fit. You know they got a few players still in that side. I don't know. What what are Brighton's expectations? They're currently in the top half. So maybe I think coming tenth is an amazing season for Brighton. Let's not get uh, beyond Once ourselves. you get Europe though, you just want to get Europe again, don't you? Yeah. You know, like yeah, I yeah. think for them any Europe is good. Yeah. Like if they go from Europa League to conference league, I don't think they mind too much. Also, wouldn't shock me to have them see them have a deep run into the Europa. Yeah, I, they've been playing superb in that competition. But they and have to you be get careful. They don't get relegated. That's their big aim every season. Uh, as much as the, the, the play is beautiful and they're looking up above the table. No way to get relegated. No, but they have to. Yeah, but the great. There have been some good, good sides that get relegated out of nowhere because they've not focused on, on the Premier League first. So let's let's look if that's. I might have just disregarded that possibly. Yeah, they're 17 points clear. I'm not saying they're going to get relegated now, but I'm but saying they could long get term. down there. Yeah, they have to. They have to keep their Premier League form. It's all well and good chasing European football. I mean, Stoke City did it, Portsmouth, Fulham did it. Mm. Uh, loads of sides do it. Burnley have done it in the past. So Wolves have been in Europe. They've all been relegated. You know, Brighton's aim should be: Can we be a Premier League club for twenty-five years? You know, is that possible? I think it. I think it is with their structure. You know, if they, especially if they keep selling players, they sold Caicedo straight away. As soon as the money came in, they sold him. You can't get a Caicedo every summer. I refuse to believe that transfer strategy is long, you know, viable long term. Mm. But so far for them, it has proved good. And I think if you're doing your recruitment properly, there's always going to be players out there. Obviously, you're going to have some that miss though. And that's when you're right. Like If you have a summer where you sell a few key players and then you replace them with players that aren't as good, mm. then you could have one of those, those fall offs, right? What's Fern Cotting and Raheem Sterling doing together? That's 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 a pairing I never expected to see. Fern Cotton and Reggie Yates back in the prime CBBC days, man. Unbelievable. That was elite, wasn't it? Fern Cotton and that. Oh. Show that. Live and kicking. That went live and kicking. That was Jamie Feekson and Zoe Ball. I watched BBC when I was growing up. I wasn't uh, I wasn't Nickelodeon. I didn't. No, no, no. What did, I said, that's what I was on about BBC. Yeah. Yeah. What are you on about? Live and kicking was a, on terrestrial TV. You don't remember never, live kicking? Never heard of that. I think it, was, it might have been ITV. Yeah. But it was like a live, sh it was kind of where, you remember Dick and Dom's bungalow? Yeah, yeah, Which is a bit late, as like my brother's year at that. Yeah. It was like that, but at the start, live in a house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flex. Quite good, man. Live and kicking was class. I've been watching that show on Channel 4, Banged Up, where they go in prison. Celebrities go in prison for a week. 
Well, like a oh, reality show. Yeah, uh, who's, yeah. Who's on it? What's this? Uh, Ricky from EastEnders, uh, the Prime Minister that watched uh, X-rated videos in, in Parliament. Uh, a singer's gone in it. Guy from Gogglebox has gone in it. Who's a singer? Um, All the stars. This, there. this young blonde kid from you, like a YouTube social media singer, and um, he's called Connor. Is he? I don't know. I know there's a blonde YouTube singer called Connor. I played football with him. No idea. No idea. But he goes in there and he takes his bracelet in. And he says, "Oh my!" He says to a prisoner. Oh, my girlfriend gave me a bracelet, and he just rips it off him like. <laughs> what a real prisoner! They've hired uh, they've hired prisoners that were uh, that are reformed like criminals. Straight. I don't know what that is. What is that? You know, in America, where they get like convicts. It's basically a, like a school it, and just shower it's kids. A, it's a prison in Shrewsbury that's been converted to like a Big Brother house for a week for celebrities, and all the prisons are reformed. They're they're on exactly. the straight and narrow. But as it gets further and further into it, they're they they're told to enact prison situations like nicking stuff and all sorts and it's, it's hilarious man it's crazy how do you think you survive uh i'd survive yeah yeah i'd survive i think you ever been arrested uh, don't say anything wild uh, maybe no no when i ask that i mean like stupid shit yeah I, yeah like i got arrested when i was a kid for stealing some goalkeeper gloves from where jg jjb yeah. was it jjb oh i knew it was jjb we'd been doing it all weekend but then we left one of the tags in got oh there. mate you can't do that Drag me in handcuffs through through town and all. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's embarrassing. My dad battered me that day. Yeah, it's, it's not good, is it? Yeah, that was a t- that was a tough time. Yeah. Would have got away with it if it wasn't for those pesky security guards. <laughs> <laughs> they all say that. They all say that. Yeah, man. Yeah, unbelievable. Danny Welbeck's coming on. This R- is why I remember movie. we did the live on my for you page. I have some tips for you to to improve. Ready? See how yeah. many of them you do. Go on. Work on a goal worthy of his attention. What are you on about? <laughs> I'm just reading what it says. What? <laughs> Can I read it? Work on a goal worthy of his attention. What does that mean? That's what it says. <laughs> they had the five things we've yes to do. Oh, yeah. So you've got some goals for you yeah. for New Year's, yeah? Go on. Number five, work on a goal worthy of his attention. So if you want to get that man, <laughs> go out there and get him. Right? So why are you on? Why is that on your for you page? That's what it says. Aren't you happy? Four. Aren't you happily married? Do you want? Do you want some more tips? No, no, I'm, I'm, yeah. Go on, Listen go on. up. Come on. Don't spoil your blessings. <laughs> <laughs> Four. Eat a high protein, nutrient dense diet. <laughs> <laughs> Number go three. On. Get seven to eight hours of sleep a night. Okay. Yeah, I'm struggling at the moment, but yeah, yeah. Two. Hit the gym four times a week. Yeah. You doing that? Yeah, yeah, just about. And number one, quit porn. Can you do Who's that? his attention? <laughs> Who's his, atten- get still his attention? Get his attention. You're still thinking about five, isn't yeah. it? You're still thinking about five. Yeah, but I'm wondering, you're in the toilet. What what came up on your for you for you page? Yeah, what were you look? What uh, were you saying yeah. to your phone? It says, work on a goal worthy of his attention. That's what it's. Oh, you're on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Twitter and then is it, weird these days. So you need to quit. You need to quit porn. Starring in it or watching it. Huh? <laughs> you need to. You need to. Would eat. you ever f- star in it, Booth? No. If someone came to him and was like, "Listen, we're doing this football YouTube." <laughs> <laughs> Would you? The world's smallest knob on xvideos.com. Here's Rory Jennings. <laughs> <laughs> Would you? At least we don't you, wear booby. You know. You know certain. <laughs> you know. You know how there's like every football club now seems to have an affiliated. Yeah, person. <laughs> would, ours, is, ours is cast. Is what we already have a, a girl that's cast for that. You know. Yeah. She, so she, would she you? Would you like in terms of like <laughs> some huge spectacle of Manchester City sex and fandom? Would you come together? <laughs> come together. Would you come together? <laughs> <laughs> would you make a like Manchester City themed video? No. For w- the no. Would you? The Avengers of Man City porn. <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm not yeah, into it. It's all called that. the treble. No, I'm <laughs> and it's you <laughs> filling three holes. <laughs> would you what's your one called? Hmm? What's your one what do you mean? The treble. What's what's your, your one what, called? what do you mean? What's your one called? Blue Moon Rising. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why the video no, what's, so you're you're Man City's third biggest YouTuber and you would come together with Who's the, who's who's the equivalent? I don't don't ask. I don't know. I don't watch all this rubbish that you clearly, cl- cl- you know, keep talking about clicking on. You keep giving them clicks, Rory. 
I'm going to get angry at his accent change. You, you, keep, you, keep, you keep clicking on these things, Rory. So, so what's your one's name? I don't, there is no one. <laughs> okay. There is no one. <laughs> so imagine the coming together of two Manchester City <laughs> icons. It would, be, it would be you yeah. and her. Yeah. What's her name? I don't actually know. I've never You've met You've got to stop so, saying so, coming together. Yeah, exactly. You've got to stop saying <laughs> But it would be like Manchester City inspired videos. I'm only here to talk about football <laughs> exclusively on the club. That's, that's our arrangement. We haven't got an arrangement. Yeah, we do. We have we a contract. Have we don't have an arrangement. We, we have a, we have no, a there's no arrangement between we, me and you. We, we, have <laughs> <laughs> we have legal documents saying I've got to, I've got to talk about football. So what? So would you do it anyway? Would you do would what? You, would you link and collab with? No, no, no. no. It's not no. really. No. So you don't really support. Came but it's funny. It's funny. But it's funny. But it's funny. You two open on his TikTok. On his TikTok, you're you're reacting to Astrid Well on your TikTok. Would you do? That's weird. That reacted to Astrid Well. Yeah, you would you? Yeah, did you watch? Would you do? Would you do a reaction video to his porno if he made one? His? Yeah. I would never watch that. <laughs> I'm never putting myself. <laughs> in, even, I'm never curiosity. ever putting myself into a situation Look, voluntarily where I may accidentally see I'm not doing his nothing. ball back. I'm not doing you can cover the bottom of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it like that. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm never ever going to keep following it. Yeah. It just everywhere it goes, <laughs> block it out. <laughs> you guys have got dirty minds. You, you you guys need to honestly hit up the, your local church. I, I right? reacted. Yeah, yeah, I reacted to uh, what I reacted to was a Nicholas Jackson video. So it was football. Yeah. What I'm suggesting Boobies do <laughs> is collaborate. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and the tide that. rises all shit. <laughs> collaborate and listen. Yeah. Cut to Boobie. No, don't cut to me, Alex. <laughs> cut to You're Boobie. better than that. You've worked with Rory long enough <laughs> cut now. Cut to Boobie. Don't listen to anything from this skin. <laughs> cut to Rory. <laughs> cut to Rory. No, stay on Boobie. Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> That's it, Al. That's it. You're off the club, man. <laughs> Yeah, that's out of order, that. Can't, ju can't just listen. Yeah, no, man. <laughs> There's a question in the comments, Boo. They said, who is, your, who is Boovy's girlfriend? Is, is why, would I, why would I bring that up to the super this, chat? This random really no, it's a super chat. Yeah. Uh, it's a super chat. You have to. I'm in a relationship, a committed one, with football. Okay? I work in it full time, and I, I, I love it. You do love balls. Rory's <laughs> right. <laughs> Rory's Look, I'm in a committed relationship to football. Let me see what else um, the internet's saying about you. <laughs> Internet. What's happening? Uh, okay, where are we up to? So, do most people on the internet call you Boovy? There's a mixture. There's a mixture of of, of things. Yeah, yeah. See. Well, we follow each other. You follow Boovy. Boovy and I follow each other. Oh, that's good to know. Follow each other. Some, some people, what, some what people blocked us. After. Yeah, that was. Uh, I've been blocked recently by someone as well. I like. I like when people. Have people. You? I like when people block you, you and then unblock you. Have Bro, you I know that block? trick. Have you? Uh, I've, got, I've, I've been blocked by loads of people. Yeah, loads like, of people. Have you got a new recent blocking uh, that is significant? Not significant, no. <laughs> not to me significant. What about you, Ro? Yeah, well, you, no, I've you, got an old have you established had a, blocking. Have you had a blocking this year? Last this year? year? Last year. Last year. It'd be this year. Yeah, it might be January this might year. Be, it? it would be this year. So if I were doing my end of season awards, <laughs> yes, then. <laughs> but you weren't. But are you now? I've not been blocked. Oh. But so you have one more. Night. You have one He's more. In. Brighton are in here. You no. have one more follower than me and Rory. <laughs> it's one more. I don't know. You got hundreds of thousands on Twitter, man. I mean, half of them what are about, bots, but, but it's, you know, it's your thing. What about one? Someone has tweeted. Who's one? Cut to movie. Cut to movie. Cut to movie. <laughs> Cut to movie. <laughs> that, that's on that clip where he, where he said that thing. Cut to movie. Yeah, what was that last That's week? That clip where you didn't know that guy went Rasmus. It says, says, "Bro, I'm effing crying." You're, he, oh, now Alex speaks. Anyway, Apparently, wasn't allowed to speak. No, you are. No, no, you are. Definitely. You speaking. just said Hoyland was singing. It was this guy. Let's. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Uh, Aziz King says, "Booby and Rory, if the EPL sanction City and Chelsea or the top six with their investigation." Do you think we should go and play the Super League? <laughs> Would you rather Based take the Super League club. or the Championship now? <clears throat> oh, I see what he's saying. He's Chelsea saying, have to play in the so, championship, so if Chelsea right? and Man City effectively get done, yeah. do we go, sod you, we don't care about your points penalty, we're off. Yeah. Maybe, no. Your, <laughs> points, <laughs> your points don't count in the Super League anyway. Um, so for the next 10 years, uh, Chelsea are in the Championship, they never get promoted. Yeah. 
Ever, I'd, I'd, I'd or ten years of the Super League. Obviously prefer, obviously prefer being in the Championship. I'd love a season in Champions. Yeah, it'd be a laugh. Just one, City. I don't, think it, I don't think it would. I think it feels like it would, but I don't think the realities of it would. Like a lot of my mates, Queens Park Rangers fans. Trust yeah, but they've been there for, for a long time. It's a slog in that league, I think. Like we'd it's come it's straight Tuesday, around. Saturday for the whole season. Tuesday, Saturday, the whole season. Yeah, mate, mm. don't worry. It's going to be in the Europa League soon. I'm going to know how that feels. <laughs> yeah, but it's even worse than that, mate. The amount of games they play, it's outrageous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a tough league. Ipswich will be in the division next season. Ipswich, really Leicester well, City in Leeds really United. well, Ipswich, yeah. Really well. Oh, they play beautiful football, man. It's amazing. M- McKenna will be in the Premier League before Impressive long. from Kieran McKenna because when he was at United... There's a lot of talk about about him and Michael Carrick, in fact, at United that when they were they were in charge of doing the training sessions for the club, and the players used to love the training sessions, the first teamers and stuff. And when things were going really well, they had a big influence on United under Ollie. And then there were a lot of times where Ollie would make them do training and stuff, but then refer to Mike Phelan's judgment or advice and stuff. Mm. And so there you've got like two things that aren't connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like disconnected, but you're showing, you're seeing now there, these guys actually knew what they were doing, those two, like in terms of their coaching, in terms of the, <coughs> everything like that. And now they're managing as well, which is an even bigger step up. So to do what he's doing for Ipswich, a newly promoted side, they're the From second the one. They're, they're the second most in, uh, successful side ever in the division up to this point in the season. Um, uh, and, and, delay. and their brand of football is outrageous as well. So whatever Leicester City are doing, they're top of the table. Leeds United just got relegated as well. Ipswich were in League One last season. That's the only worry for them, though, Amazing. would be that. I mean, it's not a worry when you get promoted to Premier League, but has it been too quick? So let's say they do get into the Premier League. Have you come so quickly up that you're still basically a League One slash Championship team? But if they stay in the League Championship for three years and then get promoted and they've signed a couple of players, ex-Prem players, whatever... I still think they would. They still have the same limitations, wouldn't they? Mm, that's true. You want momentum, don't You're you? You better having that fresh momentum, yeah. Well, Southampton were in League One. They only got relegated out of that. Then they get promoted with Nigel Adkins. Then they get promoted to the Premier League from the Championship season after. He keeps them in the league. Pochettino comes in, and they were in there for ten years. Got to Europe. Mm. So you want momentum? It's which could do a Southampton quite easily. Quite easily. How easily? Quite easily. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ed Sheeran was in the stands when they drew 2 2 with Norwich. Oh, I had a terrible Christmas song today. Ed Sheeran and Elton John. I had to turn the radio off. Yeah, it's all really bad. Yeah. yeah. Is it a, no, is it a, a terrible remake song. of an old one? I was listening to this song, and like, cause I, I've got the radio station on now, just Christmas hits. Oh. And I had to turn it off. I thought, God, just stick Mariah Carey and Slade on. That's what we want here. Yeah. yeah I, th- I thought, this is so bad. Who can it possibly be? It's got to be like a Eurovision content, uh, contestant or something. And it wasn't. It was two. Very famous, decent singers, apparently. Yeah. What do you reckon of the ginge? I like, I like I, 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 I've met Ed Sheeran. He's a nice guy. Very, He's very small. All right, remember, mate. I, what are you trying to say? There was nothing wrong with it. But yeah, what are you trying to get? All right. But, but, what are you trying to say? He's got a big statue. He's got hey, a, whoa, whoa, whoa. a worldwide fan base. Yeah, often short live people do, times. mate. <laughs> often short people do. Thank you. I've seen him live a few times. Um, the first time I ever seen him live was in like a more... It was when he was a lot smaller. Wait, well, whoa, whoa. Just before his first album, they're not literally I more mean, smaller in terms of stature. Okay, we we'll use a different word then. Oh, Brennan Ot is in. A penwa. Is this a penalty? That is a penwa. Give a no. Has he given goal give kick? Give a goal kick. That's a... This guy's an idiot. Oh. So Brennan Ot has gone into the box. It. He's gone down. Van Heck cannot believe it. I hate it. Look how man. surprised Van Heck is. Look at the ref. He's he an look... idiot. Bloody hell. Van Heck. Honestly, Van Heck is a that melt. Is, is he Belgian? The guy's yeah. a melt. I don't know. He's the most yeah. Belgian-looking man yeah, I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is a man who knows his way he's around. Rubbish. Some I saw him diving the other day. There is a man diving. that loves tin. There is a man. <laughs> there is a man Just that loves Stella Artois. Oh, he did not just kick the floor. Not just kick the floor, e, man. He just kicked the floor. These Brighton guys are crybabies, man. They're all Wait. melts. It's not a pen. Name famous Belgian footballers. No, nah, it's not a penalty, but he hasn't just kicked the floor. Name three. Van Whiten. Yeah. Uh, and Michel Vaughan. Oh no, God! No, he's Dutch. Michel Vaughan's Dutch. Hazard. Okay, so you failed. <laughs> N- name three, Mister. I'm in a relationship with football. Name three Belgian footballers. Yeah. Out of the three, you name one I of them. I Dutch. didn't say what <laughs> part of football did I? I am in a relationship with football. I love football. I'm in a relationship I'm committed with, to football with the West, Michel Vaughan. With West Country football. Michel Vaughan, famously out of Antwerp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh great play. Are we, are we not going to talk about all oh, the Brighton players surrounded the ref for nothing? 
No. Why are you getting angry by a little bright? Why do you Brian, care? Cry, cry babies, man. Oh. Oh, that was rubbish. I'm pretty, really rubbish. Anderson. Go oh, on, Brighton. Oh no. Gone, gone stale in it for Matoma. He was touted to United for 100 million, wasn't he? I'm surprised Chelsea didn't buy him for 100 million. <laughs> but that'd be a good sign in that. I mean, he's twice the player that Anthony is. So I mean, yeah, and and Madrick. <coughs> <laughs> and Madueke. Oh, he's terrible. I is think we're so Madueke, you know. Really. They're on about it. He was your best player last season. They're on about selling Conor Gallagher. Oh, that's great. Well, play that. Is, oh, I'm lucky. Which is like appalling. I think Conor Gallagher will actually go. He's been like one of our most consistent footballers this season, and I think he will actually go. <laughs> but that's uh, just ridiculous. Newcastle should sign. What do you think of Billy Gilmore? I think he could go to West Ham. I think Billy Gilmore's a very good player. Good footballer. Really good player. Is that Brighton now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we sold him for nothing. <laughs> Eight million, I think we got for him, you know? Eight. Do you know where you'd be with him? Oh, I know it's a you'd be a lot lot better with him in this in the side. You know, you know when you think eight million? Nothing's eight. Nothing like that's not a football figure, is it? If eight. he was English, eighty. I mean, he's Scottish. He's Scottish, so it's eight. Seriously, it's the market. I don't make the rules. It's because Scotland are rubbish. It's not my fault. He wouldn't be eighty, but he would be more than. He'd 80. be worth eighty. He's twenty eight, years old. Not, I, going too far in it. I'm, I think of an English footballer. Thirty gone recently. forty, I think, and it'd be weirdly right. Well, what, what do you think? What do you think? Who's he comparable to? Is is, is he comparable to James Ward Prowse? He hasn't been as consistent no. for as long, but he's probably got. Is he comparable? No. He's got a slight no, high, because high ceiling. I think they're signings at different ends of their careers, isn't it? Mm, that's true. Uh, but as, so, as you're pay, so you pay for potential. Yeah, you pay potential for potential. Yeah, that's the point. That's why I said at 80 mil. He's 20, what, like, 21. You'd expect Gilmore to cost more than Ward Paris. Yeah, he, yeah. What is he, 21 now? 22? A bit older than that. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Brighton on the attack. I thought he's brilliant for on Chelsea. On the car attack. At least they're just giving it we away. Liverpool in the league. Oh, Cup. he's absolutely skinned him. Brighton on the attack. At least they I'm a tall man. Shot. Poor shot. He's a bit like that. Oh. Gets it off. Did he study shooting at school? No, dribbling. Nah, just dribbling. So yeah, he needed to do another degree. He needs to do another Guy needs to do a master's at Oxford University of how to shoot. <laughs> you know, that table's uh, rickety, isn't it? It's Adam. No, it's Adam. I'm not touching no, it. If, 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 if I do it. Yeah, but it's only Adam that does it. Yeah, because it's that it's the table. Yeah. yeah. But, but what I'm saying is, when I touch the table... Mate, I haven't been touching it. See, look, if I do it, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. doesn't happen. I could do it. Adam touched the table. Wait for it. Look. God, God. Loud. <laughs> it, we need some Allen keys. Yeah. Adam's all over the place. Look at him. We got a shout out Super Six. Uh, obviously, Super Six are giving you a massive opportunity to win. What is it? I'm, 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 doing a, I'm, do, I'm doing a read. A million quid. Is that, mate, look how. Look at his beard. Can I finish the read? He's blonde, blonde beard. He's you, dyed his beard blonde. The chance to win a million quid with Super Six. Download the app. Across the Christmas period, you could be a millionaire. All you have to do is type in some football scores. <laughs> Uh, I would love to win the million quid so I'd never have to work with an amateur like Rory Jennings ever again. Uh, so let me win Super 6, please. You Thanks. haven't got the skills to win Super 6. I'm above you in the table, aren't no, I? No, uh, I, I, I am the reigning holder of our Super 6 mini. Yeah. I am. You need to get your Super 6 on for this weekend, lads, you know. Mm. I don't know. I, I know we kind of tell it to everyone every day. It's going to be a million pound, but if you're not playing this weekend... Million mental, quid. Mm. Million pounds. You may as well you, get do it. You know, do you know, is that when the Euro millions Do you know what over? your chances are of winning if you don't play? Yeah, zero. Zero. Do you know what your chances are of winning if you do play? Greater than zero. No. <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> well, I think it's greater than zero. Um, Dude, that one wasn't me. No, but that no. was just that moved. No, no, me. that was me that because I specifically me. moved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now it doesn't... If, if I was here on my own, this, you wouldn't even know that the table was rickety. <laughs> Wouldn't even know it had a yeah, rickety edge. That. Yeah, that would be a great stream. Yeah, <laughs> just, just me. Watch. watch this table not make a noise. That's actually what I was watching the other day. Actually, what's that? You against you, Chelsea. What are you Chelsea play? You play Newcastle. Battered yeah, them. I enjoyed that absolutely. I was supporting Newcastle. Them. I mean Chelsea. I wanted Newcastle to go out. It's a weird feeling to be supporting Chelsea against Newcastle for you. I imagine. Mm. Mm. Give me one more. Three thousand people in the in the chat. Is Thanks very much for watching. Um... SA We're dead rubber like this. Into the year 3000. 3000. God, what a time that was uh, busted, right? Yeah. Jesus. They've got a mega band now, haven't they? Yeah, it's a mega busted band. and McFly together. Yeah, it's called... Uh, what? Yeah, busted it's and McFly together. They created a super group. Yeah, yeah. Called, that is um, mental. Busted De and McFly. Death, 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 McBusted. Death Star or something. Star... Oh, that's not new. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Star of Death. Yeah. Something like... <laughs> Smash Star. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a turn, isn't it's it? It's called yeah. Smash Star, isn't it? One member of McFly 
and one member of Busted were both in my school at the same time. Maybe that is where it started. Maybe the magic. Oh, so they were already friends. You'd assume they would have definitely already knew 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 each other. The the geezer in Busted was a year above the geezer in McFly. Who's the most famous person that went to your school? Ever, ever. ever. It, it, they went any time, but you went to the same school as them. Ever. Yeah. From that school, who would be the Amy Winehouse? Yeah, I remember you saying about Amy, that. Amy, Amy Winehouse is in my class. Is there photos on the wall or anything like that, or did you? Is that, mm. Were you too close to her, sort of thing? No, she was very much like she was. She was in my class. Amy, Billy Piper was in the same class. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Amy, Billy, and their geezer called Matt, who was in Busted. They, those three were all in the same class. Wow. Um, yeah, but it would be Amy ever, wouldn't it? Yeah, like, there's, a, there's a lot of people yeah, that have come you've through won. that school, but nobody won, can yeah. be Here's close one. to I think you've won. There's one. Mine is Dwayne Henry and me. Dwayne Henry. Who's Dwayne Henry. He was in, he's, like, he's an actor. He's been in NCIS and stuff like that. <coughs> in, yeah, he, he replaced one of the main guys on NCIS in America. That was a decent show back in the day. Yeah, it was. It was with the ginger boy out of Miami. <laughs> no, that was CSI Miami. I liked it. Horatio. Horatio. I shouldn't know H. that. H. They called him H. H. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like that. That's oh. him. In NCI. Who's the guy? Oh, from, yeah, I uh, recognise him. He goes to your school. Yeah, he went to my school. Yeah. A few years older than me. Yeah, yeah, I know. Who's the most famous person from your school? He done West 10 Agent Algen on Smith BBC from Matrix. Well. What was his name? In Lord of the Rings as well. He's in Matrix. Now, who's the guy from Matrix? Agent Smith. He was in Lord of the Rings. Neil. Famous actor. Oh. Keanu Reeves. Yeah, no. Keanu the, the Reeves went one. to school in Bristol. Lawrence no. Fish. Keanu Two Lawrences went to your Are school. Are you serious? <laughs> Keanu Reeves went to school with Lawrence. Oh my God. Put the chat up. Put the chat Mate, up. You're friends. Who played Agent, a, Agent Smith? Very famous actor. Keanu Reeves. No, Brad the Pitt Agent and, Smith. Angelina Jolie. The guy with sunglasses. Jolie. Brad Pitt. <laughs> Hugo <laughs> Weaving. Hugo Weaving. Oh, I yeah, thought you meant Bobby Weaving. Weaving. Hugo Weaving. Hugo Weaving. Who's the who's the who's the commentator? I met him once. Match the day commentator. Not Mo Mots and the other one. Ma commentator. Yeah, fa famous uh, commentator. Someone said from their school, Mouse Nelson Mandela. Wow. Um, Nelson Mandela went to this school. Wow. That's the winner. Let's read the name. Denzel Washington would be pretty cool. Because if the name's Jack, I don't believe him. Yeah, Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. That's not that, is it? But I, th I don't know if people are just answering now what the name of the band is. Yeah, Fight Star is yeah. the name. Fight Star is the band. Yeah. Oh, God. Miley Cyrus went to school with someone, you know. They're just someone chatting shit. Faith from Steps, that's pretty cool. Ah, oh, Steps. Clint Dempsey. That geezer must be from Texas then. <laughs> Clint Dempsey was a Texan. Was he? Yeah. Roy's a melt. I agree with that, that geezer. Definitely correct. We got to take the chat. Sasha Baron Cohen, Jarvis, Jarvis Cocker. Sasha Baron Cohen. That means he went to Haberdashers. Yeah, see, that's good skills, huh? Jarvis Cocker. What a legend, man. Yeah. yeah. Leaf Great little band. Called Eagle. Leaf must Bizzle. have been one in, uh, in East London, North right? London. No, is he from East? East, East. Duran Duran. Duran Duran. Wow. That is Someone said they bullied you at school. Uh, don't think so. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't, definitely don't remember that. <laughs> you know. Did you ever get bullied at school? No. Anyway? No. Were no. you bullied? No, I was always very, I was very protective of people. Here we go, Brighton attack. Oh. Oh, oh effort did from you, Brighton. Uh, did you get troubled at school a lot? Me? Yeah. I was the trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I was the trouble, mate. Yeah. Oh, I was trouble. Oh, boy, I was trouble. Oh, oh good Pedro. feet. Oh. Yeah. No, they tried to make me play rugby because I was so big. I hated it. Was that foul? So I'd, I'd walk on the pitch. The rugby pitch. Everyone would look at me. Obviously, I was bigger than everyone. Probably because you're walking on the rugby yeah. pitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the middle can of the game. Can you extrapolate? Yeah. Can you extrapolate? Hey, big get off the yeah. pitch. <laughs> Adam, why don't you read between the lines were what I'm good? trying to say? I was, I was really big when I was. No, but were you a whenever good player? I'm, just or yeah, were you just I, big? I was because I was just big and rubbish at rugby. And I hated <laughs> rugby with every like? fibre of my being. I hate rugby. Number eight. Number secure. eight. Is that Lawrence Delalio? Yeah. So I pick up the ball from the scrum, smash everyone. But then it got to the point where. Everyone realised I hate rugby with a passion. Hate it. I hated it. The only time I ever broke a bone or uh, broke anything wasn't playing football. It was playing rugby. Play, yeah, I broke course. my ankle. Dangerous, rugby. mad. But I, played, I broke my ankle game. playing rugby. What, what's the irony? Doing earth. I just um, don't know anybody. So did so your yeah. school have a rugby court pitch? Court. Yeah, it had a rugby. Yeah, that's, had a rugby. Had a rugby pitch. Yeah, I just don't hey, know. We never got told to play football. Uh, I rugby. think rugby though is like a mad dangerous game. I watched one game of rugby recently. Well, I, I watched it for 20 minutes. It was on in the pub when England when played United recently. Back post! Oh, oh, wow. Brighton's missed a big opportunity. God, he's, he's such a young kid. Who? Number 41. 
What's his name? What's his name? Brennan, uh, yeah, I thought it was Brennan. Uh, Brennan that's uh, that's definitely Brennan. Brennan. Oh, fucking hell, man. 41, isn't it? Oh, he should put his foot through that. Uh, Knee over the ball, lad. <laughs> Poor that. <laughs> Got to get over that. I think he could have a touch. Have a touch. That bring it inside. Have a touch. Bring it inside. Let the defender slide across. If if we played five aside, us three, we never met, right? We we're playing five aside randoms with a few mates, right? And you shoot and you blaze it over. And I say to you, I've never met you before. Knee over the ball, Adam. No, that's really rude. Thank you very much. Really I played, rude. I, yeah, I played five aside the other the other month, and someone said that to me. I literally, I I, I called him. Like, like yeah, that. really rude. I was like, was it? Was he on your team? Yeah. We were and and was it a group of How friends? Yeah, we all like, know theory, we all know each other. He was a ringer. Everyone he was knows a ringer. Else. He was a ringer into our into in the game. I've been playing. Or yeah, no, no, no. You would. I don't mind people telling me, you know. Come yeah, come on, no, friends, friends. Yeah, friends. Of course, of course, we could do but that. Telling you technique is a bit weird. Near ne- with a boy, he yeah, said to me, like that. Near with a boy, he said. And then he skies one the next minute. And I, for the whole game, then I kept saying to him, Near with a ball. He lost the ball. I said, You lost the ball there, mate. <laughs> I kept saying that. That's how much of a prick he was. On my you life. On my the ball there, mate. No, no, Honestly, the really, you lost the ball really, there. You lost the ball there. To give you technical advice when he doesn't know you during a game. Like, also, you're allowed to say things. Like, you know, if you're being a bit greedy, if you should lay it yeah, off. Yeah. Mate, Come lay on, it off mate. early, yeah, yeah. early, first time, whatever. You can say that, but you can't give literally... We play with Chris MD. We played a few games, don't we? Like, yeah, of course, lots. Imagine, mate. he's never said nothing. No. Nothing like that. No, no, no. And he's got a lot That's of things to say about you, Royce. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a lot of things to say about your technique, Royce. Who, Chris? If he wanted to. No, he always tells you to get your knee over the ball, is it? Yeah, no, he'd be right. Yeah. He'd, he'd, be, he'd be right. But then do you think do you think this fella thought he was just helping? No, no, no. no. On, the pitch a few on my life, that happened, yeah? This guy's special. I've not told anyone about it, because I, 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 obviously we're bringing it up in conversation. He never got invited back ever again. I've been yeah. playing the game for a few years, and he also, never got invited back. you know what? On, a, on very rare occasions, if I've been fortunate this, enough you know to who's play. talking about. Yeah, he's a, he's a twat. I've been fortunate <laughs> enough to play with like professionals in fairly competitive. The, the fact that they were professionals, they always take it like quite seriously. They've never spoken to me like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I played with Jermaine Pennant. He could have said that. I played with Darren Ambrose. He could have said knee that. over the ball, and they were really kind, yeah, yeah. like really kind, really generous, really supportive. Yeah, knee over the ball. Yeah, That's crazy. not normal football. Chat. Absolutely crazy. Really rude. Oh, keeper oh, keeper's it. dropped it. Oh, he's oh, it again. Man. 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 Ball. Dean Anderson. Oh. oh. And the referee didn't call for anything there. <clears throat> Cuba no, just made a just made a hash. He of it. Flapped, was juggling the ball about. It's nobody moving. He flapped it twice. It's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> have you lads heard about the? Um, have you lads heard about the guy at the Bristol Zoo? It's a famous story in Bristol. Quite. What did he do in, to the animal? For twenty years, there was a car park outside Bristol Zoo. Yeah, so you give a quid to this guy. He was the same guy every day. Everyone knew him around Bristol. When you go to the zoo, you'd park up. It's a famous pay, part of Bristol as well. Yeah, so you'd use it. the zoo. Yeah, exactly. For twenty years, and one, he, he one day, work there. one day he never, he never, he never came again. And someone said, "Oh, where's your car parking inspector?" Uh, they went into the zoo and said, "Oh, where's the car parking inspector?" And they said, "We never had one." <laughs> You've been doing it for twenty years. That's good, just nicking like a quid. That. Just nicking a quid. You got to, yeah. You got to rate that. People used to do so. My dad tells me when he was a kid and when the Villa games used to be on, because my dad grew up in Aston, he used to go and mine cars. So you'd just go and take money. i oh, watch your car for you, and then just go home. As soon as they walk into the ground, just go. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, no. Just as kids. Imagine that. Do you want me to mind your car? No, get fucked. <laughs> I think people have been... I'm going to really... change my car park. I think people, now, people have been like really clever and cryptic about these things. Like They've got really quite high tech. Like To take that story on, do you know what people have done like more recently than that? You know when you park up at a station and you have to like do the app? People have changed it so that you're just paying into their thing. Yeah, so you know if you if you go and pay and like, okay, six quid to park here, that's just like somebody's own PayPal, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've heard that. Yeah. You know when you ever when you get tickets for stuff like that, do you ever pay them? in what sense? You know when they go, ah, oh, we're gonna take it's like a CCJ for a ticket. In like a private car park, you ever pay them? No, I pay because I get really scared about things like that. But I know they can't do anything. Yeah, you're not supposed. Yeah, to. I know they can't do anything. But I get quite. Tell them I get, get fucked. Yeah. It's like on TFL as well. If they take your bank details, just get, just give them the wrong details. They'll never chase it up. Like your address and all sorts. No, but you know, if you if you were to park somewhere, uh, say you were to park, not pay and get the letter, can you just ignore it? Hmm. Mm. No, you can't, you can't ignore car parking tickets, can you? No, you I think you can. It's the ones where it's, like, you know it's a like. government car park or an NCP, you should probably be worried. Like, or Birmingham uh, City Council one or whatever Hackney mm. Council. So when it's just like private. Yeah, when yeah. it's some private fella's thing, just, yeah, just don't worry about it. Mm. No, man. 
Cool. Foul, is that a foul down on the east? Uh, Eze? When are you going to the West Country? Uh, the what? Might be day? tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. Until day after Boxing Day? Yeah, day after Boxing Day. You drive. You train. don't drive. Train. Can't drive, yeah. innit? No. He's... I should learn at some point. Yeah, you've got to learn to drive. Being in London, yeah. I was diff- must be difficult to learn. In I don't see myself leaving London. Like uh, the prices yeah. of, the no price one of does. lessons here must be nuts. Taking lessons here must be. Well, no, nah, it's fine. Keeping man. a car. It's like taking lessons anyway. We're keeping a car in yeah, London is the issue. Go, yeah, just yeah. traffic. If I wanted to see a yeah, mate in South London, it's twenty-eight quid. Yeah. Although, <laughs> twenty-eight quid to to, to cross to get the river. There. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I was on right move, and the car parking space was a grand a month. Yeah, grand a month. I know. Brit Lane. It's so dear. It's so <laughs> crazy. Dear. It's you... weird, isn't it? Because, like. I don't understand how, although I say that, I was going to say, like, everything is so difficult at the moment. People are so brassic. But then you go, every restaurant you go in, oh, it's bustling and people are out spending. Yeah, I wonder where they get the money from. TikTok creator fund, it must be. <laughs> Start swallowing, what was it? Yeah, Potatoes. On the attack. Swallow a potato <laughs> and don't chew it and you can be a billionaire. <laughs> you'll, you'll die. <laughs> you'll die. you got one trick, you imbecile. Uh, I think he went to hospital as well this week. He went to hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't, show me this geezer. Pretty show sure. me the show me this geezer. Oh, this is funny. This would be so funny. This is going to be terrible. Imagine making that your thing. Can you imagine how like you, like you you could succeed in many ways. The world is your oyster for many people this these days. You can you can strive to be brilliant at anything. God, look at the state of his face. Whose face? God. And the sound is like. Who's that? You can hear the sound. Oh, that's him. Yeah, I've seen him. Uh, nasty, bro. Mean set of Hampsteads on him, but he don't use them. We <laughs> 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 use that that didn't understand that. That's, that was great. Rory said he's got a mean set of teeth on him, but he doesn't use them. Just eating a chip. A carrot. <laughs> he like has to go like that. He seems like a nice kid. Did he? Did he? Did people use to nick his food? I think his thing was he 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 talked to the camera normally like about whatever he wants to actually create content about and then he'd eat at the same time and people picked up on his eating. Is he, where, is he does he use filters on every? Yeah, is that? Is I that think that a real no, thing? Some, some of these are edits, I think, but um, no, some of them are edits. What, but, um, has he have what ha, sad has he had make... those teeth whitened? Yeah, no, that was the thing as well. He puts a, a, I feel a teeth like whitener on. That's the he uses a weird filter. Backwards way to go. Yeah. yeah, don't worry about the color so much, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're starting in the wrong place here. Yeah. yeah, shout out this beaver. I mean, I've eaten my teeth wired. So yeah, shout jealous. out beaver. Seems like a nice kid. Uh, just, yeah. well, I'm just saying shout out beaver. Yeah, but we can't have a, a slagging off match about this young kid. He might be, you know. But there was no face to a name. There was no face. Well, to everyone, we just said his name, Beaver. No, well, now you have. Now you have. Yeah, now well, you have. No, I called him Beaver just a minute ago. Oh, I'm just saying shout out to him. Yeah, he's yeah. got. He's got. When issues. we were talking about him a moment ago, it was anonymous. He's got issues. <laughs> yeah. We were talking about someone anonymous. He's got issues swallowing things whole. Okay, unlike you, Roy. That's not an issue. No, he loves it. He, he, it's not an issue. He's made it his thing. So you reckon what happened one day was you, it was an anonymous? You know, person sometimes and then you decide when you're eating, <laughs> he realised. Yeah, he's clock. Clock. Oh, he's no, you just, you just missed. No, 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 you know no, when no, you're just, eating, it was all yeah. anonymous. Yeah, I'm glad you missed that. That's fine. You know when you're eating and you accidentally swallow something. Do you reckon he did that yeah, by accident and was like, oh, I it was an accident. I love this feeling. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that. So why does he that. do it then? Because he, he, he got viral off it. It's because, it got viral. Get, it's because it gets views, isn't it? And it's sadly, like if Roy was doing something, just he was watching the football, but then he did something that was it went mega viral. Like he got known for doing that instead of the, you know. Yeah, so if Rory watched an Arsenal game and then went, ah, I just lost his head. Yes, he said something thought, weird. Yeah, or he had a Jamaican actually, accent out of nowhere, for example. Yeah. And then he goes, next game's nil nil. Yeah. You know what I need to do? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. TikTok's a mad place, man. Mad old place on TikTok. It's the Wild West, really. Do you ever think that, you know, sometimes when United lose, yeah, I'm just so sad I can't even be bothered in it. I just rather be quiet. Yeah. But other people go, I need to be loud here. Yeah. Because I need to make them all. Like, it's mental, isn't it? I know. I can't let my, uh, I just, you know, I care too much, I imagine, in a weird, horrible, sad way. I don't think it's sad because you wouldn't have built an authentic audience that you have without that. Yeah. If you were picking and choosing, oh, well, this is a good game to get reactive to because you've lost to Palace or whatever. I f- I f- you can't pick and choose these things. Like Someone came up to me the other day and said, oh, would it be better if City started losing? It's like, we're all sat here in theory. For who? Yeah. Yeah, but it, <laughs> yeah, yes, like, yeah, is, yes like, is the answer. Yes. 
For me, yeah, but not for, for you. No, for me, yeah. I'm just saying, would it be better if no, City No, you were yeah. saying to me, with my channel, would it be better if my cha- if, if City fans who have YouTube channels, would they get more views if City started losing, yeah. like Arsenal did for five, six years, yeah. for example? But no, be, I don't think... I don't for think a very I, sh- I don't short think time period. Okay, okay do, you, do you know what's quite interesting about that? Okay, this is, this, is, this is fascinating. So, do you see how some people seem to think that the grass is always greener? I have anxiety in, a, in like a very minor way about the same as about the similar thing. So Chelsea have been a bad and I worry that like, obviously I now have a family. I've got to keep working, got to keep being relevant. And I worry that if Chelsea constantly fail and become insignificant, it will go the wrong way. It will go the other way. So you know how he, you, you were having a conversation with somebody who said, if City stops winning so much, would it be better? Yeah. I'm going, Oh my God. Like I'm terrified that, we're just not relevant. Yeah, but your 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 voice from football is for, is very strong for Arsenal, for United. You have good conversations about football. You're not. I, I don't consider you a Chelsea specific football fan. No, you're a big Chelsea fan that also has a big YouTube channel yourself and on the club and other things you do. Talking about other things in football. Mm, but it is. It, yeah, I suppose. I, I think just think it's quite multifaceted. I think you have to be. Also, do you not think? Like, I remember when when Robbie, I think it was on Talk Sport. Robbie Lyle was challenged by this weirdly by Ray Parler. I don't and know Simon why Ray. Jordan, wasn't it? Or... Yeah, but it was Ray Parler who obviously when when Robbie was sort of going to football decades and a half, two decades ago, Ray Parler would have been one of his heroes. Yeah. And Robbie went on to Talk Sport like out of kindness, I think. Yeah, yeah. And Ray Parler just went Snagged for him. him up, and Robbie was sort of a bit taken aback. You could tell, and. Parler but I think was... a lot of that comes from someone like Ray Parler, who's is now irrelevant because of people like Robbie, like Robbie, right? yeah. And no one wants to listen to Ray Parler. That's true. That is but, true. But Ray Parler was sort of having a pop at Robbie, suggesting that he benefits when suggesting that Robbie benefits when Arsenal don't win games. And Robbie's counter to this, I think, is a genuine one, and really does make a lot of sense. Robbie said, "Our best ever month on Arsenal Fan TV is when we won the cup." Yeah, our yeah, best exactly. ever performing yeah, yeah, video yeah, yeah, yeah. is when we won Just the cup. After COVID, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like the, the most successful our channel has yeah. ever been is the month where we know, were the most right. successful we've but, been. But since I'm we in a weird spot when I we think... won the treble. If City had lost the Champions League final, my views definitely go off my channel. Do you think? And when we won, obviously I'd rather us win. I don't care about. I don't care mm. about. Paddock's that. biggest ever day was when we beat Paris Saint Germain, and we're a very different channel the way we do things. Right? It was when we beat them. The Rashford moment in the last yeah, minute, but yeah. also like. Some of the things Arsenal fan of TV have done, and I praise them for what they're doing as well. And I also think a lot of that comes from Ray Parler just being made irrelevant. But a lot of the things Arsenal fan TV have done is like very weird down the years, like making videos in weird times, not even just football based, where it's kind of like, what are your priorities here then? Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm. Like when it's not even purely football based, if you're just reacting to these things, then what else are you like? Very cringe sometimes, man. Very cringe. But I do think Parler's opinion came from a place of they're more relevant than me. People well, would rather listen to what these Arsenal fans well, are saying rather than me, who's an yeah, invincible. If, if, I, if, I want, and if, that must, if I want an Arsenal opinion, I go to Robbie. Like, Robbie is my sort of go-to. Robbie, Sharky, someone like that. They're my go-to Arsenal people. Not Ray Parler. Yeah. Which Hugh Wizzy? I think Hugh Wizzy's, Hugh, Wizzy, Hugh Wizzy's great. Yeah. Yeah, I, genuinely. I think, he's, I think he's really good at what he does. Um... But yeah, I'd like, I, suppose, I suppose that would be a thing. But equally there, Adam, <sighs> Arsenal Fan TV have said that their best and most successful ever day was, well, week, sorry, was the week they won the cup. St- Stretford Paddock's best and most successful week was when you had an iconic uh, we're, victory. We're not the same as them. You, you, I know, because I know from but you're the, same, the way you're... we hold ourselves. And with the way we act at certain points that we're not the same. No, but you're, that's a, where you're, 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 you're a football fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah football you're a football fan. fan. So but that's where I think the criticism for them comes that, from. That's two of the biggest football fan channels that have unquestionably had their most successful period when their team were being successful, not when their team mm. were being beaten. Can so I it kind of goes against so the theory. Man City don't have a... We Man City used to have a a, a, um, a fan channel. Yeah, Blue Moon Rising. Blue Moon Rising. Yeah, yeah I, remember the, company. I remember the kid, and, and, and I remember the kid you, before it. You do wonder if it's like, that doesn't exist anymore. Obviously, uh, Stephen's doing his own channel and it's, it's, it's good. 
why why isn't there a City fan challenge? Is there because one, maybe though? because City have won every single Premier League title for the last six years except one. I mean, is, is there, there a, is there is, a City? There is a oh, hang on, there is a Man City fan challenge. Like if Steve McInerney. No, don't does... get me wrong. City Extra is fantastic. I'm not trying to say no, and, that and there aren't. There obviously are. Yeah, yeah McInerney's an individual people. But but there isn't one to the scale of, of what Adams got. There isn't one that, to the scale of um, no. uh, uh, of Arsenal and and Liverpool Red Men. There isn't one to that scale. There isn't. There isn't a Chelsea one. There isn't a Chelsea one to that scale. But I think a lot of that comes from. Size of the, the fan base. The club's huge, the club. yeah. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to compare us to Man United in no, that regard. Just, but I think you, the success is a big thing as well. You do Man United videos compared to if you react to a Liverpool video or something like mm. your reaction to when you say something about Man United will be a lot. But Manchester, than... Manchester United, Arsenal, and Liverpool are, are in a different league to every other club. Yeah, like course, nobody, course, can, yeah, nobody can really yeah. compete. So yeah. as much as you're saying there isn't a City one to the, to, and I know what you're saying, there isn't a Chelsea one like that. Like the, I'd say the biggest, the biggest Chelsea one. Is is George Benson? Mm. I think he is the biggest Benson, and most yeah, successful yeah, yeah. Chelsea YouTube, yeah, yeah. a Chelsea di- dedicated Chelsea channel. But he's he's brilliant. He gets a lot of views. He's got a lot of subscribers. But it is nowhere near the the level of oh, it's a goal. Goal! What a oh, header! Danny, Danny Welbeck, Welbeck lad. looping header from Danny Welbeck. Danny, Danny Welbeck, Danny what a Danny header! Ooh. Look at this again, lads. Wow. I love Danny Welbeck. He's yeah. moving away from goal as well. Wow. Great player. Who's, who's great the Arsenal player. fan? He said he's better than Salah. Lee Gunner, I think it was. The Welbeck was better than Salah. That's a fantastic yeah. He said he's a better t- footballer. I had to pay Robbie Lyle. Oh, what a header. I said that Welbeck would go to the World Cup. Welbeck's clever. I remember you saying that, yeah. I got what you meant, but... I was gutted when he left United. That was... Great header. Oh, good header, man. He's one of them and he's a, he's a top quality player. Mm. He's always capable of that. Just had bad injuries as well. Yeah. And he always applies himself the right way as well. Mm. What's he had the hell really bad is? injuries. Yeah, yeah. It was weird when, because Ten Hag let him, sorry, not Ten Hag, Van Aal let him go at United. And it was really weird at the time because it felt like Walbert was a perfect player for him. You know, like someone that works hard, plays well off the board, does all these different things, can play in a number of positions. I remember Fergie had him playing like a DM position against Madrid. And he just did it. Yeah. And he did it well. And it yeah. was like, Mm. No, he's a good. He's just a good footballer, isn't he? He's just a good footballer who's had a, who's had a good well. career. He's possibly not his Manchester re- United's record's level good as well. One in two, three. He's probably not the level like you know Van Gaal letting him go. Mm. It probably wasn't a mistake. I mean, it was a mistake because of what's happened since, but that's hindsight. Yeah, at the time it felt like one. Yeah, yeah I get it what felt like a mistake at the time as well. Yeah, that's oh, when really? I said it at the time. Yeah. Oh, I see. I was one of them guys that just loved Danny Well a bit though. No, yeah, but do yeah, you think did you love him like you loved Martial, like irrationally? Or do you love him because he was actually good enough to play for Manchester United? Oh well. Because being good for Like do you admit being... that do you admit that your love for Martial is is not? No, but my love out? for Martial, it's become a little bit of a fun joke to have with people and all that kind of stuff. Mm. But it also comes from the fact that I thought he was a fantastic fucking player when he broke through. And he was an incredible player who I think we just haven't developed properly. He's had bad injuries. Can maybe take some blame himself. What is that? It hasn't been developed for whatever. When the he first came first in, one, but then so you the look at, season, but then you also look at one. you look at 2021 when he scored like 26, 27 goals in the season. He's our top Premier League goal scorer flying. Um, that season for Mourinho, by Christmas he had got 10 goals, 10 assists. Mourinho really? didn't like him. Though, Mourinho did didn't like him, and then he brought Sanchez in, who stunk the place out, and yeah, he played yeah, him in yeah. his position, and he wouldn't play Martial then. And Martial just so there's been what That's my crazy. point is there's been junctures in his career where just circumstance yeah could have been different but then also yeah. you could make saves and blame himself with Welbeck it was like he had injury problems but also he was I thought he was a very good but player. Welbeck would have been competing with like really good players to get into the United team wouldn't he whereas Martial well we just bought Falcao and we let him go Falcao and if you ignore what happened after Falcao well, we never we loaned him. If you bring in Falca, you go, yeah, it makes sense to let Wilbeck go, right? You yeah. brought in an elite yeah. number nine. Yeah, yeah. Although someone needs to take responsibility for for not predicting that Falca was gonna You know when I these mean, things yeah. go no, wrong. Someone should have went wide with Monaco on a loan. Yeah, out. it's someone's <laughs> it's someone's job. Like Chelsea then bought him. A large bow should be rigged. Oh, is it, is, is is against Palace, funnily enough. Hold on, these like want to loan him out. Yeah. Eight I know. <laughs> no, I always think that weird. I always think that. Like, you know when you think about you know what Forrest did to Forrest? Do you know you know what um Liverpool did to Chelsea with Torres? Someone them. at Chelsea them, yeah. needed to take responsibility for that and ultimately get sacked. Yeah. Like, 
They've <laughs> totally got one over on us. They've sold us a crop. How how is it all right? Fifty million pounds. Yeah. Like, I'd be annoyed if someone did that for five hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Well, he got you the Champions League goal, didn't he? Worth its weight in gold. In the semi final. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Far, so, yeah. yeah. Worth its weight in gold, no? Uh, yes, for the, yes for the memories, but it didn't actually. You know, it, it, it's one of those goals that didn't actually change anything. That is true, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah it didn't actually change anything. No, like, the winning goal me, wasn't Ramirez, was it? In that game, the main was... goal, the, the main, the main goal, like Chelsea, because he scored, then they scored. No, what happened was we were two 0 down. We were two 0 down uh, away from home, but yeah. we we won the the final score with Torres. We won one nil at home. Wasn't it three one two nil? And you went for an away Were they goal. beating you and then you had to go no, there? No, the game you finished 2 all away. The game finished 2 nil away, but we'd won one nil at home. So it didn't change only right. any... It didn't actually change anything. It took it away from them where they couldn't come back. The, they were chasing yeah. a had drawing that goal. goal. Had, that, had that goal not gone in, Chelsea... Yeah. No going, way! That is... Sorry. What's happened Would there? that call for a foul on Henderson? Because that's not a foul on... Wait. Look at this, lads. Mark Gage that's not in the ball. That's not is it? He's going not, over It there. wasn't Henderson, sorry. It was the defender. Mark Gay. Do you know what I mean? Like, that just... Soft. Really, like, he just fell yeah. down. Yeah. Defenders always get them, though. Refs start calling these automatically these days. It's really sad. Sorry, Raw. Um, no, 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 no nothing at all. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying that the goal that Torres scored, while it's one of the most iconic, one of the most well-celebrated, one of the most memorable goals that has ever been scored, it didn't actually change the result. If that goal doesn't go in, Chelsea still go through. Is the way that it, it was but it just took it away from Barca where they started crying on the pitch. Yeah. They Although they it was draw. it was ninety four. It was the yeah, yeah 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 yeah. There's a great there's a, it was great a good pick. touch. His touch for that the ball over out out Ashley the Cole, Ashley Cole just booted it out yeah, of his yeah, right yeah, foot. Yeah, yeah. Ashley Cole just got rid of it. Yeah yeah. And then you can see this moment. This, there's a great photo of Messi like this. You know with the shirt. Yeah yeah. Messi like this. Oh! Torres celebrating. And Ashley Cole in the background like that. Think about that. They would have won like, that. Ashley, it's my favourite Ashley Cole picture. They would have yeah. won the... They would have beaten Bayern Munich. Well, I mean, Chelsea... In four seasons, them. he got them to two finals. One, two finals, two semi-finals. And one of them was against yeah. you. And you beat them. That, that says a lot. It's like in all like, nine. We were so good. Though. They're the most we successful had, side in the history of that club. They should have beat Barca in all nine and we would have beat Chelsea. Yeah. Quite comfortably in all nine. We had such I think, resilient in Rome. team. Yeah. Yeah. We were a good side though. We were you good. were good, but we you were only, as good as that. Only reason, the only reason why we might not why we might have beat you is because you beat us in 08. Yeah. So it would have given us an extra edge. But I remember thinking that yeah, I, I want Chelsea, man. Yeah, really you beat fun. us in 08. Yeah, you'd rather have played Chelsea that year that in 09. What what was it? The uh, Anelka, Maluda, Drogba, four two Bala. you had four two 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 system. In, didn't you? in it was like a little Bala. box. N Maluda's big S Maluda's, Maluda's, Maluda's big season was a season <laughs> Maluda's big season was a season after when we won the yeah. yeah. The like that season, the stand up Michael Essien was like Michael, yeah. he, had what amazing, he had an amazing what season there, man. Yeah, he had an amazing season. Oh, what did yeah. we win? We won the cup. We beat Everton in the cup final. <laughs> uh Lamp Lamp in double, yellow. In yellow. No, we won the double in ten. In nine, we just won the cup. Yeah. In seven, we won both domestic cups. In nine, we won. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. oh, what's happened there is the, 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 Dean Henderson. Brighton tonight. have tried this pass a few times, which is kind of like an angled pass over the top of the defence to Welbeck. Welbeck's got there. The keeper. The keeper's got there. The keeper's got there and has hit it, it off Welbeck's face. That punch was awful. I'd have loved it that gone anywhere. I can't stand Dean Henderson. It could have gone anywhere. Why? Fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, Listen, that was an awful punch. It could have gone anywhere. It shouldn't be go. It should be going straight down the pitch. Should be catching it. Yeah, it catching keepers easy. He he's way too. He's had about three of those moments today. Yeah, 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 yeah. catching it. Yeah, and he used to sit yeah. there to give it the big and pretend he was fucking. Right. You know, do you remember the? Do you remember the yellow? Have you seen Lampard's goal where he slips and he jumps up and pings it in with his left foot outside the box, just top corner at Wembley? That's that's that cup final nine. Yeah, in yeah. yellow against Everton. We went one 0 down kick. after about this. twenty seconds. Lewis Saha. 10 seconds even. Louis Saha. Louis Saha, a good player. Louis Saha scored for them after about 10 seconds. Yeah. Louis Saha was so good. Yeah. Just broke so broke Di Matteo's record. So injured. But so good. Yeah, he's a good yeah. player that good year for John Tigana. Because I thought, yeah, John Tigana. But when he came to United, I thought him... I've never seen as ready a made partner for Rooney as Saha. Yeah. Them two together were just so good. And the, the, the kept, he kept Van Istra out of the team for a bit. Yeah. I know it was towards the end. And Van Nistelrooy and Fergie were falling out, but he kept him out well. But he was never anywhere near as good as Van uh, Van Nistelrooy, really, though, was he? Louis, yeah, no, not as a goal scorer, no, nowhere near. 
Um, but he was a great of, third. His try. movement off the ball yeah. was very, very good. Yeah. Really, his injuries didn't help. I think if you don't have those injuries, we look yeah. at him a bit different, yeah. a bit better. I'm not saying. But Van Nistelrooy Van 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 is like one of the best in the Premier oh, League. One of the, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah Van Nistelrooy is, is a great, whereas. Whereas I don't think. Because I was very good. Yeah. Who could have been even better without the injuries? Because mm. I think he would have played for a very good French team then. Yeah. Without those injuries, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, he wouldn't have been. Play, he wouldn't have been playing in the first division with Fulham, would he? If he would, if yeah. he, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. That pizza hut kit. Isn't it? That pe- yeah. <laughs> Who else was that? Thomas Radzinski. John. This is another one of those games, isn't it? The, uh, John McBride. Chris this is Holden. a great game, right? Fulham players go. Uh, John McBride. He, uh, no, you're out. What McBride? Yeah, McBride. Brian, Brian McBride. McBride. Let me add that one. It's okay, late you got night. it. Late you got it. It's Christmas. Brian, Brian McKnight. Mc... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, you got it. Uh, I'm gonna go with Louis Saha. Van der Sar. Berbatov. Zach Knight. Uh, that's a, Second Zach Knight today. Zach Knight. A couple shouts for Zach Knight. Uh, Chris Baird. Schwarzer. Clint Hill. Clint Dempsey. Anthony Amy. Kincheski. Uh, why am I struggling so much with this? I know loads of them. Uh, Casey Keller. Vega. Remember to go with the man? Ramon Vega, yeah. Uh, Dembele. Which one? Musa. Chris Coleman. Papa Boobadia. The wardrobe. There's another Musa the Dembele. Wardrobe. Did he play for Fulham? King, the, uh, the Celtic striker. Did he play for Fulham? Yeah. Did he? I think so. All right, if not, Diara. No, see how I made you bottle yeah, that? Yeah, no, I, don't, no, yeah, I yeah, don't know the answer. Yeah, you, you're acting I'm very big boys, you. as you know. I kept it's late in the you night. What am I meant to do? Were. Remember, if, what, 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 what do you mean to do? The layout of Craven Cottage? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do uh, uh, Alu Diara. That's a good shot. Yeah, that's a good shot. Um, let me think. Do you know what's, do you know what's clouding my judgment here? I know there's another American player. So we've gone Clint Dempsey, Brian McBride. I know there's another American, and I can't think who it is. It weren't John Spector because he played for West Ham. No, who's the other American? Because that's that's all I'm thinking at the moment. Have you said Casey Keller? I said Keller, yeah. That's him. Yeah. No, no, there's another like forward. All right, go uh, on. Okay, no, no. Liam Rossini. Breda Hagerland. Oh, good shot. Wow. He's a good player. Yeah, great player. He's a good player. Lichtensteiner. God, yes. I thought he was just saying the whole country. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> um... Oh, okay. Oh, what's his name? Little scrappy forward. <laughs> Did Sylvan Wiltord go? Like, that's just coming to my head from nowhere. Did Sylvan Wiltord go Fulham? I'm not sure. Oh, was Villa. it not West Ham? Did he even? It was Villa. Oh, hang on. Van der Sar. I've already said Van der Sar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Unlucky, mate. Unlucky. Am I out? Yeah, I think you're out, mate. Okay, go. Steve Sidwell. Joe Bryan. Uh, Steve Mulbron. So oh. Yeah. Sender off. <laughs> Sender has been said. No. I know he is no, played no. for them. Right. Uh, did Chris Coleman play for them? Yeah, I said it though. Yeah, did you say it? It's over then. Cap two no, no, ones I that he's if he played for I didn't know if he said. You're asking, you're floating, so see if he said it. All right. It gives you, all right. If it gives you outs, doesn't it? If that's the rule, then. Who is the other American? You said, you, you said Clint McBride. Dempsey, McBride, 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 Keller. No, but there's, there's another forward. Oh. There is another forward. I know there is. Altador? Jersey Alton. Bowen Moore is a shout. Lewis Bowen Moore. Landon Tate, Donovan. Danny Murphy. Landon Donovan. Did he play for Fulham? Yeah. I was going to say that. Uh, but not for Fulham. Shout out Rory for bringing up the Fulham. Tim Ream. Yeah. Jersey Altador didn't play for Fulham. Play for Sunderland. Pulisic. Damien Jersey Doff. Altidore. Damien Doff. Doff, yeah. Great shout. Chris cool. Samba. Chris Samba. Scott play for Parker. Fulham. Tim Howard. Car- Carlos Bocanegra. Shout out Carlos Bocanegra. Where are these guys now? John Collins and Collins John. Jose How did we get those? Oh, yeah. Fucking Collins John, John Collins and Collins John. He was his manager. John Collins was the manager yeah, of yeah. Collins John. We'll play these games. Do Charlton. Someone says do Charlton. Yeah, make sure you subscribe if you like these games of, of, <laughs> of naming random footballers at random football clubs at any given moment in the stream. Make okay. sure you subscribe if you haven't right. already. Go Charlton. Charlton. Darren Charlton. Bent. Oh. Darren Ambrose. Matt Holland. Koncheski. Oh, yeah. I'm Scott done. Parker. <laughs> Scott Parker. <laughs> Keeley. The keeper. Yeah. Kylie. Kylie. Sorry. Dean Keeley. Dean Kylie. Marcus Bent. Did he, did he? 
Did he play yeah, for yeah. Ipswich and Charlton both? Yeah. Them? Jonathan Johansson. Oh, oh, oh. Jonathan Spector. Oh. Oh, my days. Oh, Matty, something. What's his fucking name? Oh. 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 The game's over. Okay. One one. Matty Holland. In, in the the and I said Matty it Holland. Uh, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Oh, oh. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Very good. It's one one in the M23 derby between Brighton and Panis. Palace. <laughs> Panis. That guy Walbs with the goal. And what a horrible performance from Dean Henderson, the absolute knob. <laughs> eh? I think he's a great keeper. He's so great. fair he's play to great. him. If you watched that today and went great. No, no, he, he had a shocker. And so did him. They both, they're both so rubbish him. keepers. <laughs> so did him. Uh, what's his name? Say his name. <laughs> Verbruggen. V yeah, v Van Bruggen. John Arna Oh, I see. <laughs> yes, good shout. Yeah, yeah. At where? Charles? Uh, Fulham. Yeah. Fulham, Fulham, Fulham. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's one all. It right. is uh, beautiful. Fantastic. Thank you so much to everybody for tuning in. We really do appreciate it. And thank you so much to Super Six who have sponsored us for the entire season. Remember, you could win. A million pounds. They call him William, and he's going to make a million this weekend. Isn't that right, Boovy? Simply predicting how many scores? Six scores for a million quid. Uh, make sure you download Super 6, uh, and we will see you very, very soon. Also, Christmas Day, the podcast is out, so go and enjoy that. See you later, Rory. See you later, everyone at home. <laughs>